actually reinfect it. Okay. And there's no, there's what you can't do legitimately or reliably is pluck the proverbial tweezers at the virus and pull it out. That's why I like to reinstall the OS totally. And then okay. you just pluck your stuff and pull it out. Yes, of out of the hard drive's backup. Yeah. That's the cool thing about Time Machine is that it'll do that total image of the entire system, including your data, plus if you don't want to do that, you could just grab one or two folders. And you could you put virus, virus protection on there and point that virus protection at your external drive to make sure it's not infected. Got it. Okay. So that's basically how that works. Because he has two external drives that do have things on them. Well, yeah, right. So this isn't actually an external SSD. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, so it pot potentially it would be a lot faster. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it has it has the things that I need on there. So yeah. Also, in the long run, when you put it on a shelf, it'll be more reliable than this. This mechanical hard drive is a motor. So, like when a mechanic lectures you about not driving an extra car, the part, all the soft parts and all the plastic parts, they can become brittle, mm -hmm. and that's why you want to keep them all lubricated by driving all the time. Yeah. This is a motor that spins at five or seven thousand RPM. So if it sits on a shelf mm -hmm. for years. A lot of people don't realize that even if it was only used once to back up, it could potentially not work a year or more later. Mm -hmm. So that SSD, because it's just a circuit board that pushes electricity through it, potentially is a lot more reliable mm -hmm. sitting on a shelf. So that, it's faster. It, over daily normal use, it's potentially not any more reliable than a mechanical drive, oh, okay. but sitting on a shelf it is. Hmm. Okay. So basically that's a good thing. Most people aren't willing to spend twice the amount of money on one of those versus one of these. Okay, so is there a speed difference between that and that? Yeah, an okay. SSD has no moving parts, which is why it was invented. Okay. So it's faster. Yeah, because the S I need the SSD for, basically, I'm, I produce music, Okay. so I have a lot of plugins and yeah. stuff like that. So operating on an external drive on an SSD is going to perform better. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, if that's where you're going. Yeah, so that's what I have. Yes, and the other thing is you can back up to the cloud with iCloud on that machine if you choose to. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you already had done that. I uh, don't know. So the only downside to this machine is that the drive is sort of small and given the fact that you're a media producer, all your content can be kind of large, mm -hmm. so you can overwhelm that drive easily. I have, well it's, it's I only store 80 gigabytes of plugins. Good, in, which is yeah, so keep all your, so potentially. Because you have that other, his yeah. other drive. Yeah, so, so this is what I keep, so the other drive. Why don't drive we do this? Let's, uh, pers let's back up what's on from that orange drive on onto this manual. Okay. You can do that on your own. Thank you. And that, because I don't know, I'm, your content is your content. Oh yeah, of course. I can't necessarily do your house cleaning, so grab in what you know you want off of there. Is this, is this, did this come with it? Yes, okay. it came with it because all the new machines are... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't yours. That's fine. Alright, so just escape on the yes. pop-ups. You're going to manually, you might have to reformat it because they often come out of the box formatted for Windows. No, this is this is format. Okay. This is like format. Well, no, I'm so, uh, the new uh, the Western Digital. Yeah, this is format. Okay, yeah. Well, technically, it takes two seconds to format. You can use them on either. So out of the box, they're typically PC formatted. That's my point. Okay. So it's fine. Yes. Well, it it said it has special compatibilities with. Um, the hardware is identical. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's my point. All right. A lot of people they spend that extra two or three dollars not realizing. That it's identical. Well, it was it was the same price. All right, good. Like, yeah. So normally, out of the box, at least until recently, these drives came out of the box mostly for Windows. All right. So I'm gonna go get your brother. All right. Is it cool if I stay here? Yeah, you're fine. I really don't mind. All right. And I think it would be easier yeah. for you too because right. I do the stuff that sure. you, and then you can work on something yeah. else. Yeah. Like so I just charge you the flat rate. I mean, it might take two or three hours, but I'm not gonna charge you three hours of labor. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, I, I'm also, I also love to learn. Sure. Yeah, I've got a lot of people that kind of, in a way, it kind of gives you the education so you don't necessarily need me another time. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. of course, when you get a bigger computer, you'll be able to take those backups to another machine with minimal assistance. Oh, yeah. But if I do if I do ever have a problem or anybody else says, I'm going to send them to you. Sweet. Yeah. I've been at this on my own for about 10 years. I used to be in the Riviera Village, and then oh, I was wow. up in Manhattan for five years, and then that building's coming down before the end of the summer. So, well, yeah, this uh, is brand new as of like a week ago, this office. Not only do you know what you're doing, but like Apple also charges like Just so to much. have more. a conversation, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they don't want you to repair that stuff. Basically, you buy a new one. 
So the other good argument for backing up is that your SSD mm -hmm. is part of the logic board. So technically, if the machine fails, you lose your data. Mm -hmm. And you can't pluck out the data and potentially re reconstruct it mm -hmm. using a data recovery mm -hmm. service. You have to potentially fix the logic board and hope it can fry the data. Yeah. So unfortunately, that's just the way Apple has been for the last several years. Mm, interesting. Yeah, well, I, I think 2016 was the last year you could remove the, bit, the uh, memory. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this one's a 2019 one, I think. Right. And uh, yeah, you can't you can't remove the memory. You can't upgrade the memory. Right. You have to buy something external. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I tell people back up using iCloud, back up using two drives, and then these days because SSDs are becoming more affordable, it makes sense to back up to one of those SSDs and then put that on the shelf, mm -hmm. okay. and then potentially it'll last indefinitely because it's the only use it once, and SSD is going to sit on a shelf reliably for as long as you don't drop it. Yeah. Yeah. Much. A mechanical drive, like I said, that thing yeah. spins at 5,000 RPMs, it's cheap, and it's relatively reliable as long as you use it regularly. Okay. So there we are. So you're dragging all your plugins to this drive? Yeah, I drag I drag the Omnisphere and Good. the, and the uh, strings plugins to yeah. this one. I, yeah. I don't know what these three things are. I think those are just for the for like the one team, like the startup for these right. for the Windows side. I didn't yeah. drag those in. Um, right. I yeah. No trouble. Cool. And if you need me out of your way, I can. No, I'm just saying this. Okay. Give you a bit, but one more bolt in here. Uh, you need to hold that up. Uh, yeah. sure. That's only gonna take a second. I just need to figure out. I can bounce around. screens too. So if you're a graphics professional. That, I'm not graphics. Right. So, so. But, but accuracy is what they were famous for. Yeah. So. Yeah, but then that's what they're marketing it as is like something that you, that is like super accurate. Right. But even the laptop screens are kind of known for that accuracy also. Oh, yeah. But being a media producer, it's annoying that they, they don't, they don't have like producers line of uh, hardware. So that you can like a base model have like a four terabyte drive. I mean, wait for what do you mean like for the? This only has two hundred fifty six gigs. Oh, we could have gone more. Yeah, I know you could have, but it, I mean, their marketing for some, their heritage is supporting people like you, and to have a drive not have enough storage, you'd be surprised how many times the clerk at the Apple store don't interview a customer properly. And then they end up having to replace the machine because they're exactly older machine. That's exactly what happened to us. Is yeah. We, they, they were I was talking to him about music production. I'm like, how much storage should I have? Because I was just starting out. I didn't. I was only on an iPad to, back then. This was my first computer. Right. And he was like, oh, 220, 256 should be fine. And I, I'm, I'm here. I'm he didn't here, even I'm ask here. you what you do. No, he, he knew. And he, right. he said, because he used Logic, and because he knew about Logic, because that's Apple. Right. Oh, you're at the Apple store. And he was yeah. just like, he was just like, oh yeah, 256 should be fine. And I was like. How would I you mean, know? If you're like four years later, like, oh my god. Right. Yeah. And he he was the music like the music right. professional guy weird. too. Yeah. Weird. It was super weird. And a lot of times those people they assume you're working on USB drives. Oh yeah. So that's a little weird too. Yeah. Because you want to be able to keep everything. I mean, these days with SSDs and USB C, mm -hmm. 
It's fast. Oh yeah, the Thunderbolts. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then yeah, I guess technically that is backyard support. Uh, Thunderbolt, USB-C, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Is that an XLR cable? Yeah, I uh, record to YouTube and have these conversations publicly. Oh wow. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is I gotta get some signage so like I don't want to just shove someone on the air without permission. Oh yeah, no. But essentially I want to have conversations like this, and it gets captured. I saw you have like a live stream thing yeah. at like, one p.m. every day for like yeah. Oh, that must have been an old one because like, I changed it to ten a.m. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. So that's just live on YouTube. In fact, I think I'm live now. I didn't even get the sorry. <laughs> no, I I don't mind. All right, cool. So yeah, I got a camera showing off my router, and then another camera pointed down at this work, if this is where I'm working for a laptop repair, and then if I have something relatively articulate to speak on, but normally if I don't have a lot of work, it doesn't make sense to stay live for more than 10 yeah. minutes. So. Is that a mixer there? Yeah, that's my mixer, oh, that's, wow. and then it plugs into the back of this machine, which is doing my live feed oh, wow. here. And it seems, the audio seems to turn out all right, since I don't have like, um, I, don't compre I don't do any, um, what's mixing. it called, mixing. Mm -hmm. It's just live and unedited. Okay. Yeah. And then it plugs into the line in, and then that's wow. my router right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Those are great headphones, by the way. Too. Oh, for fifty bucks, they're pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I have Tascam ones, which are like I got them for like thirty, and they're decent. But yeah, I figured I just wanted something. That, I like the over ears because I don't like shoving stuff. Exactly. In my ears. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, no, especially for music production, you need the over the ear ones. Right. Well, nowadays I guess they're shifting, but I still prefer the over the ear headphones. Right. Yeah, I, I've always grown up using that, and then like I love music. I, I grew up with that stereo. <laughs> yeah, I was. I saw that earlier. I was like, damn. Yeah. So I grew. Oh, up and I, I think I saw that on your Yelp too. Oh, stereo. oh, I probably took a picture of it at some point. Yeah. yeah. You're like, you can combine old stuff. Oh right, stereo. yeah, like Sonos. Sonos, that little white box. I think my parents have one of those in the garage. Yeah, so that's an example of how like I gotta set it up. That thing's not even plugged in yet, but um. You can do Sonos to a vintage stereo because it's just an RCA jack on the back. And that way your phone talks to that white box and the white box makes it analog for that 45 year old stereo. Wow. So it works really well. A lot of people don't want to give up their old stereos, but they also want to be able to take advantage of uh, Pandora and all those other streaming services. Yeah. We're at 55 out of 82 now. Good. So once that's done, I'll actually walk you through doing the work. Okay. That way you'll have your education. Technically, we'll need to, to do the same thing. Hire me again. Right. So that way, if you have other apples in the machine in the uh, in the family, you can either load your stuff up to the new machine or uh, just piecemeal it. All right. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. So. Oh, this office has so much more room than the other one. I didn't have room to do anything. Yeah, it looked it looked kind of small. Well, this is actually a good twenty or thirty percent bigger than what I had. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I saw all the computers were like crammed in like a yeah. small room. Yeah, I was there longer than I should have been. That rent was dirt cheap, so that was wow. like an addiction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. I get cheap rent. I wasn't in a hurry to double up on the rent, so. But I, I feel much more comfortable now. That's good. Yeah. You know, if it's worth it to you, then. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, just me being more comfortable is going to be more productive anyway. So, here we are. Is that a mount? Is that like a mount? Another one? Of the yeah. Mount? Yeah. I was going to use this mount when I get a bigger TV. That TV in there is just an interim. This is my mom's TV. She wants that back and it's 10 years old. So I'm just going to get another flat screen with some smarts into it. Or maybe I'll use an Apple TV and then stream my stuff over there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But also, it's all, so like when someone brings in their desktop, that's a landing spot. Mm -hmm. So I can just plug the desktop into that monitor and we can troubleshoot it right there. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to run an Ethernet cable and get it online and all that fun stuff. That's good. Yeah. Good so the idea is to get like a one of these cameras mm -hmm. in three or four locations so that way I can just move around bet 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 yeah. between three or four jobs. You have like a little remote too. To like yeah. The, yeah. Oh, well, with the, um, you have what's there, what are called OBS scenes. Do that so just like automatically switch? Like well, yeah, so you exactly create a scene exactly as you want. And you just toggle between the scenes. Yeah. So like this scene here only has this one screen, mm -hmm. but another scene can have a, a screen of meet my face maybe, or maybe yours. Uh, so bit yeah. So this is what's called OBS. All right. That software is the interface for the mixer okay. and the cameras. All right. So 
it takes the audio as you can see here. Yeah, I was, I was. That's why I asked about the stuff because I saw the, I saw the line in. Right, and right now I figured the mo the LCD screen on my mo on my uh, router is somewhat interesting, so I just pointed the what is normally my downward cam right there, <laughs> and I guess I accidentally disconnected this cam right here, but normally I'd have my face right here, which points right here. So, and that way it also helps build my footprint online. Mm -hmm. So when people Google for this store. My, my YouTube content that's, shows up. That's perfect, yeah. And of course, I probably, people are going to find that content and it's not as high quality or it's not edited like some of the IT guys online. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't having live conversations unless like, they're like the Joe Rogans. <laughs> but that's not, I'm not having... It's not a podcast. Yeah, it's not really a podcast. It's just random conversations yeah. in a some, tech shop. That's better sometimes. Yeah, it's more uh, authentic, I guess. Well, not only that, you get the whole information. You get all the information. Right, it's unedited, like you say. Right, you and I have our own skills, yeah. and it's a technical conversation. Someone out there is going to get value out of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Do you have any other programs that you're going to have to take note on and re reinstall manually? FL Studio, but I can. I, it's just I can download the uh, cool. thing online and yeah, then, and then just put in my uh, put in my email password. Do you think if I put in my email and password then it, I'll have to like, because they, the, they don't want you like having it on two computers. Two right. Computers. So like. It like, calls home so it pays attention to the identifiers in that hardware. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be fine. Well, it'll be the same machine if that's what you're worried about. It's not going to say, hey, this is a new computer, we're going to disable it because we're confused about what hardware it just got installed on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when I call in identifiers, there are things in that machine like I'm called a MAC address and a mm. other oh, identifiers. I've seen that in the, in the okay. Yeah. Right. So, so yeah. Should we, should we wipe this now? Or? Uh, make sure it's confidently backed up. The, so the plugins, no, I mean wipe this. Right. All oh, right. Yeah, that's what I mean. But make sure your plugins are on the other drive. Oh, okay. Good idea. And then wipe out the orange drive. Yeah, everything's there. And make sure you don't accidentally format the other drive. What is format this one? Format, yeah, make like, sure you don't accidentally erase the one you just backed okay. up to. Okay, all right, so should I, should I, Unplug um, it or reject it. Well, yeah, eject it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're out. Good. Okay, cool. so it's ejected, and now you can go back to the time machine and point it at the orange drive. Okay, perfect. So you just back up to... Yeah, type time machine and pull up the utility. And point it at that drive. Okay. I have a question though. Yeah. So once we back up to that drive, right? Uh, is, so there will be no once I have everything back on here, there will be no viruses, right? So what, what's going to happen is they're probably going to back up the viruses to this. Okay. But you're going to piecemeal the individual folders you care most about. And then erase that. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, and we're also going to use virus protection to scan that drive before we drag the stuff over. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was scared about. Right. Too. Yeah. You you got it figured out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So right. so time machine to the to Just the orange yeah. right. It's gonna look for a drive. You can point it at that drive, and then you should be fine. System preferences. Or yeah. Time machine app. Time machine app, and then the app uh, utility will allow you to. Um, so, uh, so when should I back it up from? Or what do I? It's saying it's giving me like a. What do you it's mean? It's giving saying me to restore something, but how do I like? That? Okay, so to, oh, oh no, you're in the utility. You want okay. to go into the settings? Go into the oh, settings. Oh, the settings. Okay. It's all right. It's not obvious. Oh, okay. There you go. Check that box and then for automatic and then yeah, there you go. There you go. You can go ahead and use both. Okay. Sure. Erase. Erase, right? You can unplug the other one. Uh, yes, yeah. you're good. And should I should And then it'll do an automatic up? backup. And let's make sure it's plugged in so it doesn't go Oh, tell it go to the settings. Okay. That's the other thing. Make sure it doesn't go to sleep. Okay. Because that's the sort of silliness that you see in these machines that even though you just told it to do a total backup, it'll still go to sleep in 20 minutes and then it won't finish. So, just go to the settings and make sure it stays on indefinitely. So, yeah, um, both Windows and Apple do that, and I don't know why. That's stupid. Yeah, I mean, you'd think, oh, well, it's busy backing up, maybe I should temporarily disable the sleep. 
Oh, and this thing isn't plugged in. So is it? Oh, yeah. Just plug it in under your... Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Plug it in. Right. Make sure it's not falling asleep and that your battery doesn't lose its power. Right. Then we should be good. It's on reset. Should it be on reset, right? The, the, um, this thing? The... Uh, is it lit? No. Okay. Yeah. Touch it. Oh, there that? we go. Yeah, it should be lit. Yeah, it was on off. So yeah, I don't. I don't really know the settings on the switch. Besides, yeah. it shouldn't be on off. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all I know. There. If that light is uh, lit, there we go. All right. Yeah. And this is. This says it's charging as well. Good. All right. It says it's plugged in. Good. It should. It should have the charging thing. All right. That is the charging. Yes. Okay. So then. And now go to the uh, time machine. Yep. No, no, no. I have to set it so it doesn't fall asleep. Oh, settings. It's going to be the light bulb, the battery icon. It used to be a light bulb. Okay. Icon. Got it. Yeah. There you go. So okay. now, yeah, plug it, plug it in, just tell it not to go to sleep. Okay, so never? Correct. Just off after never? Correct. Okay, perfect. Alright, perfect. Network, alright, bet. Alright, now I'm going to the time machine, and then... Oh, it's, it's already doing it. Yeah, good. Okay. And then it's going to give us our uh, ETA. Actually, uh, so if you yeah. hover over the uh, time machine icon up here, it'll give you your... Uh, this is the time machine? Oh, is it? So. No. Uh, oh, we this is it. Check the box. This is it. There you go. Yeah. Now, if you hover over it... I think this is, this, is, this is for the... Yeah, this is for that. Yeah. If you hover over it, it'll give you an ETA. Uh, it says 14% down, but it also has the ETA on the actual Good. settings. Good. Okay. So once that's done... And then you can visit. 11 minutes, so. Good. Yeah, okay. Because it's, 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 I just bought this like two weeks ago. Well, I guess an SSD is a lot faster exactly. than a mechanical yeah. drive. It'd take two to three times longer with a mechanical drive. Yeah. So we need this again, right? For uh, to put your plugins back in, yeah. Yeah, and then I have my other one. Should we wipe? Should we? Yeah. Wipe so, the yeah. Thing? So okay. once we uh, get the machine wiped clean, then we can do uh, data management. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. And then that SSD is the one you really, I mean, it's best that you have one to operate with really fast, but also that's the more reliable technology. So it might be worth getting another SSD when it's Okay. Need. All right. Because of the nature of what you're up to, you're going to take advantage of that speed. Or right. these cheap $50 mechanical drives are going to be noticeably slower. Okay. Because you're dealing with large files. I mean, I don't mind so much the, the thing of like, of having these slow things to like back back up, right? But I I really need that to be fast so I can right. get my plugins in fast. Right. So you're saying back this one up? Back. Well, yeah, because of a mechanical drive, if it's going to sit on a shelf, it's okay. less reliable. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people don't realize this is what our SSDs are even or what they are. They just know it's the new new thing. I just thought it was faster. It yeah. is. Yeah, but they don't understand why it's more reliable, yeah. but not re more reliable in everyday use. If you actually compare an SSD to a mechanical drive, mm -hmm. the difference in reliability is actually very similar. It's not that much more reliable. Mm -hmm. I see SSDs fail almost as often as mechanical drives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. yeah. It's just another argument for backing up. That's yeah. the other thing. That's, so that's what my parents always tell me, they're like, back up, back up. It's like an back. insurance policy. Basically. So you'd be surprised how often I see an insurer uh, like one of those insurer um, underwriters, they don't back up their own stuff. It's like almost laughable. Yeah. So let's see. Let's go. Let's see what your iCloud account says. Yeah. Let me see if your cloud backup. If you look, if you go to the iCloud. Yeah. It's not blind. Yeah. So if you check that box up top. There's a one uh, iCloud mail. There's a folder called one uh, Apple Drive. Where is it? Yeah. It's it's checked. Where is iCloud it? Drive. iCloud Drive. Yeah. And then go into awesome. the options. Okay. Yeah. There, it's already checked. Good. So technically, you were already back up to the cloud. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. That has to get checked. That's not a default backup. Okay, perfect. You have to initialize that. All right. So it is initialized is what you're saying? Right. All right, perfect. All right. There we are. Ah. <sighs> Now it's where you have to wait. Hmm? Now it's where you have to wait. Yeah. This is how many, uh, another five or ten minutes? It's six minutes. Good. Yeah, six minutes. Good.
So I'm going to show you before we wipe it clean how you can just peruse the drive and confirm that those folders are created. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll wipe it. All right. You're saying wipe my computer? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We just want to make sure we have an eyeball on your data, right. even though it looks like you've already been backed up to the cloud. Okay. Yeah, because the backup to the cloud doesn't include any weird plug-in locations. Like if, 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 you, if you use any weird obscure folders, okay. the iCloud drive is not going to capture some created folder in the okay. root of the system. Right. Yeah, a lot of engineers will think they're being clever by hiding their data. And their backup utility didn't know it'll go looking for it. Yeah. So there we are. Well, I'm glad I didn't choose to go to the Apple store instead. <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they're just quick to sell the stuff. They don't, they're not very... They're not knowledgeable. Yeah, I don't even know. They're, no, I actually um, tried to get a job as one of their retail people like 15, 20 years ago. And I think they just don't want technical people. They, want, they don't want like a they salesperson. Want salesmen, yeah. yeah, they want salespeople. They don't want a tech expert or an enthusiast that's going to undersell. Well, when they know that there's more lucrative, it, there's more it's lucrative a, it's ways. It's a big to, business. Yeah. So it's, yes. Know. Unfortunately, public companies are legally required to make as much money for a the stockholders as possible. Oh, yeah. That, that's, um, that's a conflict. Yeah. yeah. I've had grandmas pay two grand for a computer and say, all you need is a Netflix machine. <laughs> you got sold a $2,000 Apple? Yeah, pretty much. All right. So, there we are. And should I be connected to your Wi-Fi? Well, uh, I guess to update the cloud backup, you could, sure. Okay. Yeah, South Bay Tech Gurus. South Bay Tech Gurus? Yeah. And we'll find it, a W-I. Capital R? Uh, no, N-N-E-R. I just meant in terms of positivity and all that. Oh, that's the, that's the other thing that error will be fixed. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the I don't want, like my path, my normal, my more secure passwords are totally different than that. Okay, yeah. But I, for the sake of yelling at my password across the room, okay. and it's just Wi-Fi, it's not a big deal. And technically I'm a public Wi-Fi spot because of the commercial product. But like if I was at a house, I wouldn't necessarily want Oh, yeah. My Wi Fi to be so easily explained out loud. Yeah. There we are. Okay, good. We're good. Or if someone hacks my Wi Fi and does something nefarious, my argument is thousands of other laptops have been on my network. So if I was a house, that would be a bigger issue. Yeah. Plenty of room. Thank you. But now you can sit. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. No, none of that. That's all just tools. Uh, I was hanging that TV. That's pretty much all I was excited to do. <laughs> Once I get everything established, I'll be a lot happier. Necessarily a, like a tech tech question. I yeah. Kind of is more like science, but like those foaming pads, these are like damp, like sound dampening. Well, I use them so that when I'm working on a laptop, mm -hmm. the uh, I don't scratch the laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then of course they're also acoustic material. Yeah. So I, meant, like, I mean, this office doesn't really need a t acoustic material because they had carpet and that mm -hmm. acoustic stuff on the ceiling, but that's really all this is. Right. And that way, I put a laptop down, and I don't have to worry about scratching the the laptop. Yeah, I didn't even think about whether it might be better to have carpet in here, because the last place in most commercial offices or retail outlets have hardwood floors. Yeah. But I like 
when I drop a screw, it bounces somewhere. It's frustrating. This way, if it drops, like it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Are those monitors? Oh, uh, no. Those are uh, audio engine five pluses. They're not technically monitors, but they are higher end speakers, mm. and they work really well. I've had them for several years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are basically stereo replacement speakers, so they fill fill the room pretty well. Oh wow. So, yeah. Keychain login cannot be found as stored. That's a glitch. No, we're gonna fix that problem when we restart so the machine. Cancel or escape. Just or cancel. Yeah. There's a password conflict somewhere. You must have mistyped your password at some point okay. and it saved it. Okay. That's probably what that is. I guess, yeah. Oh, that's that. So that's that thing. Good. And then we're gonna peruse that content as an external drive and we're gonna confirm we seal the main I beast. You good to your Tater, don't go anywhere. Stay here. Good. Come on. Good boy. You want a cookie? Okay, so now go look at the drive and make sure you see your full structure. Go in there, yep, and then click the look, yep, and then go into the uh, users. And then go, yep, there you go, double, yep. Now go look at one of those folders and confirm that it has your entire content. This is an application, it's nothing. Okay, well, that I'm not worried about. That's uh, nothing. Oh, here we are. Maybe you have some of the stuff that takes a second. Yeah, to that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so do it again, make sure. Data copy, yep, we're good. Steam, documents, we're good. Good. Application, I mean, I don't need any application. I just need the downloads and the documents. Right? Just check to see how big the overall profile is. Okay. I think that's it. Up. Yeah, there. So how big a disk, how, how big a storage is it? Four terabytes. Well, yeah, how many actual gigs are we using? That's what okay. I'm asking. Because... We just want to make it, sure. It normally would say right here, but it says time machine back at this. Let me see. Make sure it says it's done. If it says it's not done and it hasn't done a first one, it's not done and it won't give you all your data. Okay. You do need to make sure it finishes. Okay. Yeah, it says only backup today. It looks like it was 200, 266. Gigs? Uh, Okay. Because it because you take away three point eighty three terabytes from right from the from the uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we had a uh, an actual backup. Yeah, let me look at it. oh yeah, we got all the we got the icons now. Users. Okay. Data copy. Good. So it's got up to. Uh, this, today, is, this, is, this is the other one. This is, yeah, this is one of the ones. I just wanted to see that today's date. Okay, got it. We're good. Good. Okay, so reject it properly. All right. And then you're going to, yeah, go ahead and close that window, or make sure it's ejected, and then I'll show you what we need to do. All right, you're good. Yeah. Actually, we might want to do this on Ethernet. Okay. Why don't you bring it over here? The computer or the? Yeah, the whole computer. Okay. Your battery's healthy, right? Uh, it's like at 50. Why don't you bring it up? Bring over the plug anyway. Okay. Do you want me to turn off the, the, uh, the, Surge protector? Uh, no, you can leave that there. I'm going to get rid of that anyway. My point is, I want to make sure it's plugged in both to the Ethernet for reliability because we're yeah. about to pull down the OS from the Internet. Right. And, and the Wi Fi is pretty good. I just don't want to have to do it again if it fails. Okay. Yeah. Probably. So we're good because the OS is several gigs. And it's safe to download off the Internet. Yes. 
I know you, I trust you. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna download it directly from Apple's servers. Okay. Perfect. So it's not like we're going to some shady site. All right. Yeah. Okay. Then. Uh, right. Yeah. We're good. Okay. So now I need to find uh, my adapt my USB C adapter. And I actually have one. Oh. Here. I brought one. Oh, from that. For the I internet. Don't know. Yeah. It's all right. I have a bunch of these. Where is it? Um, I'm just gonna put the plug right behind it. That's fine. It's not plugged in though. So. All right. I can help you like if you'd like. It's in one of my drawers somewhere. Let's see. I haven't used it in a while. It's from Ethernet to USB C? Yes. Okay. Okay, please use USB. Let's do USB. Oh, that's right. I gotta I gotta use the actual Apple one anyway, because my Windows ones, the driver's not included. Oh, okay. So it's white. Let's see here. Where is it? Kind of looks like that, but that's not it. Yeah, I figured it would be. Let's white one. see. Yeah, I actually had to buy that for exactly this posi this reason. <laughs> well, why do you have it then? And I've only been here a week, so I'm still trying to figure out where to put everything. Uh -huh. Let's see. Where? I haven't seen that white one from Apple. Well, we could do it on the Wi-Fi. I'm fairly confident the Wi-Fi is strong enough. It's just not something I would have to worry about. Okay. Ah. Got it. This will work. Here, All see? Right. Yep. Ethernet to USB-C. So we are going Does it need drivers though? No, that's exactly why. All right, perfect. Perfect. That's why I was specific about what I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. Because this particular thing, Apple has a generic enough driver. Okay. But my one that's branded Amazon, it won't work. All right. So here, plug this in. All right. Is it cool if I do it on this side? It's fine, yes, right. it doesn't matter. And then we need to plug in my computer probably, right? Yeah, so plug that in overhead. Uh, is this going to fall? No. Nope. Uh, uh. You know what? I just put that up there, and because you mentioned that, we're just going to play it safe. Yeah. Let's plug it in over here. Uh, I don't want to get this off. Uh, do you want me to get like the other one? Other what? The other surge protector? Nope. I got it here. All right, perfect. I'm trying to decide what my best option for setting everything up is. Yeah, I don't know that up there is the best. But yeah, i got to figure out what I want. Let's see here. Let's plug this in here. Yep, that works. Okay, so since we're giving you a lesson, I'm going to walk you through it. Sit. All right. Sit? All right. Yeah, go ahead right and here? sit. Yeah, right. go ahead and put it. Yeah. All right, so you're going to restart, and when you restart, you're going to hold... Is that safety mode or whatever? Command it? Option R. Is so Command Option R when it restarts, or as it restarts. Command Option R, okay. Yes. So... Hit you're going to restart. Can yeah, I just ahead. hold yes. this button? Well, you want to restart the machine, not just turn it off. Okay. Well, yeah, this restarts it. Okay. Okay. I'll just I'll just do it from here. Yeah. Restart. I, yeah. As soon as the screen goes black, call the command option R. Yep. Command option R. And you're gonna see like a little white ghostly looking uh, Earth logo spin. Okay. That's why this is that good. Oh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't think we did it right. You might have done it too soon. Okay. Right. I think you have to do Wait it till it's as it's booting. Wait. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah, good. So Ethernet should be plugged in. So why is it asking us for Wi-Fi? Give it a second. This Wi-Fi should be plugged in. It's not just automatically. Let's see here. Got it. That's plugged in. Mm. Give it a second. All right. Because it's at, it's about to ask for my Wi-Fi. Okay. But it shouldn't be asking for this if it already sees Ethernet. Okay. So and I I'm totally confident this is plugged in. All right. Why? Is it not? That's weird. Yeah, that's tight. Let me try this. I'm just kind of curious. Let's test this out.
Huh. It doesn't look like this hardware. This is a new model. I don't remember use it, if I've ever used it on Apple. I remember using okay. it. Okay. Well, how new is it? It's new, new. I've used it three or four times. Okay. This is a 2019 model. Yeah. I'm wondering if this driver is too. Is not. If too it's not. New. Yeah. I'm wondering if that hardware is just too new. I have an older one, which I physically broke, so that's why I replaced it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's see. I used to have two of those. I not a big deal. Let's just use the Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, put it on the Wi-Fi and do it. Uh, you said it's... self attackers. This one? Yes. W-I-N-N-E-R. One, yeah, one, one, two, eight, zero. Good. There we go. So this is all hurry up and wait now. Okay. This is why we need to make sure it's plugged into the wall. Yep. The so sleep, the sleep thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, that doesn't have, have to worry about. Oh, okay. Backup oh, yeah, is, yeah. yeah, the backup is where that would have been a problem. Okay. Yeah. See, we're actually live now, and everyone's watching my <laughs> the router. Technically, if it would make sense, I'd also put that camera pointing down here. Okay. With our interaction, since you have private information, we don't necessarily yeah, want to divulge that. We can't point it at that screen until it's a totally empty machine. Yeah. So, but that's the nature of what I'm trying to capture. It has a clock and it says zero uh, yep. colon zero seven. Okay. Is so that that's seven minutes? Or? Yeah, that's okay. actually. It looks like it gets seven seconds, but that's minutes. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I don't know why they do it that way. Then it's probably legitimately going to take 20 or 30 minutes to do the whole re image. I got uh -huh. 100 meg in internet, that's all right, but it's not the fastest. I mean, it's probably faster than mine, honestly. What? Oh, well, actually, <laughs> someone, uh, someone at Frontier randomly called me and asked me if I wanted to upgrade it. And I thought they were supposed to just do it, but I guess I have to call them back. <laughs> So what I brought with me basically on the way here is I still have my charger. I have I brought a USB to USB C thing. Oh. I, I figured you'd have one of these, yeah. but and then I brought right. my old one. Good. Right. Yeah, so these backups are great to use actively, but like I said, yep. don't let it sit on a shelf for six All months right. or more perfect. and then wonder why it doesn't spin up. Alright, perfect. So I don't need the charger, so I'll just close that. Yeah, as long as it's plugged in, we're good. All right. Is it YouTube that you're streaming on? Yeah. Also okay. Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Nice. What did I just do? Wait. My ratchet. This? Oh, yeah. Got Let's you. Finish the monitor. I got you. Sweet. And then do we, is this, this is my thing, right? The packaging for the thing that yes. I, can I take that with me? You need to take, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I don't need the packaging, just like the, um, just like the, the thing inside of it, like the warranty information, right? Kind of right. Stuff. Yeah. And if you need any help on anything else, I'm right here. So. Cool, thanks. No, I'm not yeah, hanging anything right yet. We're good. Perfect. Yeah, so this is going to be a factory image with nothing. None of your stuff will be on it. Okay. You just re-log in, 
to iCloud if you want, but we're going to put some good virus protection on there and then point it at your external drive. Okay. Make sure what, because you could remove the virus from that folder and then it'll be safe to grab your content. Is that a record player? Yeah, a wow. little turntable up top, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the stereo is 45 years old. I mean, different components are different ages, but that's basically the era it comes from. And then what's that big box in the middle? The one that, that's that called like an equalizer. With okay, I thought that's box. what I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, so you can essentially s tweak the uh, signal, the audible. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. one of those on my friend's guitar. Basically a mixer. Yeah, no, I, I know it. I know what yeah. equalizer is, but I, my friend has a has one of those. It looks exactly the same, except it's less knobs on his uh, right. bass amp, his oh, bass right. amplifier, because he yeah. he plays bass and guitar. Right. That's what I thought it was. I was just curious. Yeah, the one below that is a speaker, um, an auxiliary amp. So technically, that stereo down below takes mm -hmm. six speakers by itself. Wow. But I can add four more with that one above it. So that's how they do. So a lot of people don't realize that. If you had surround house, not like household speakers throughout surround the sound. house, not surround sound, oh, oh, okay. but because they didn't have surround sound back then. Yeah. But if you had speakers throughout the house, that would allow you to do four more speakers. Wow. Yeah. It's called an auxiliary amp. Oh, I've heard of that. I, d yeah. I don't know what it does. So, like these bigger happened. homes in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. you see speakers throughout the house. That's yeah. the box that allows them to I think we have some it. of those in my house. Like, we have some in a different room and then some in this room and right. some outside. That all connects to the same thing. Right. Three more minutes. Yeah, I can't. Play it. I don't think it's gonna happen that fast. But yeah. There we go. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. What's Audigy? Where? Oh, there's a, a sound the blaster audio. No, that's the hardware. And okay. That's an expanded video uh, sound card. Mm. So, like most uh, motherboards have audio built in. Mm -hmm. That's a separate card. Oh, wow. Because that's a cheap little $500 Dell. Mm -hmm. Getting a separate card means it offloads some of the traffic that pushes through the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So, before. My computer was really slow and I couldn't even broadcast to YouTube oh, with that wow. computer. But with a $30 sound card, now it's a faster machine. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that. Well, now the gamers are realizing that because now, right. they, now they're getting all like, but now they're getting the expensive stuff. They're not well, you'd like be surprised people. how many gamers that operate on Wi Fi. It's like, dude, you're supposed to do that on the Ethernet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your computer, you're, you're getting killed all the time because your <laughs> Wi-Fi has all sorts of overhead. Yeah. Even if they're right next to the router. Looks like it's restarting now. Good. Got the Apple logo with the bar. Just going across. Slowly. Yeah, you know, it's frustrating. You can't reliably pluck the virus out you know, without totally starting over. That's crazy. Even on Apple. Well, 
virus writers want to go for whomever's uh, the larger audience. Oh, and that's true. Ten or more years ago, apples were a lot more rare. All right, so. Yeah, go so ahead. This is me, so do I click on that? Uh, let me see. Uh, that's you. I know my password. So. But go ahead and yeah, log in. I want to make sure because we still haven't. All we did was download this utility. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, log in. To next. Yes. Okay. Oh, and I, there. Type your Apple password. Yeah. So See, this this is what I would have had to call you up for. Okay. Because it's tied to your iCloud account for theft protection. Okay. Uh. Try again. That's not it. Enter the password for. Oh, this is just my regular password. Oh, this is not my Apple ID. Okay, great. Yeah, so it wasn't necessarily your Apple ID. Good. There you go. Okay, good. So now we're going to go to disk utility and erase the drive. To continue? Yep. And now we're going to go to the um, Macintosh HD. Yep. We're going to do partition. And then we're going to go. Um, Encrypted, yep, download. Oh, so it is encrypted. Um, you don't necessarily need to encrypt it, but that's what mm -hmm. you've had it set for. Go drop down and go to APSF, APFS, the top one. Good, and then do apply. Click uh, the red partition. Good, so that's essentially erasing the drive. Okay. What we just spent 10 minutes doing is downloading this utility. Mm -hmm. Once this is done, oh no, that's working. That's weird. <laughs> Give me a second. There we go. Hit done. Good. Okay, so now I'll go back to. Um, or do uh, yeah you're fine click that yep close that out good now go back to reinstall Mac Monterey there we are there we go hurry up and wait this is why I wasn't sure why I was only asking for seven minutes this is gonna take a half hour or more okay. and then it's a brand new out-of-the-box machine shit that's how I do it just need to clean the screen a little yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, that the, um, actually it looks like some of the chemical they put on there is actually worn away. Yeah. I can tell by how it wears away. Mm. So like when you adjust with your thumbs, the grease is from your fingers. Okay. Click agree. Click agree. There, click on the drive, now hit continue. I remember doing this like three weeks ago is when I upgraded. I remember doing this little bit. Oh, right. Two hours, 17 minutes. It shouldn't take that long. Probably. No, I don't think so. I have fairly fast internet. Um, that's the worst case scenario. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably drop half to that in 10 minutes. That's what it usually does. <laughs> right. So that's what you may basically do, make it a factory new machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab those individual folders you care about and drag those over from the external drive. Okay. Do we need to, like... Add the encryption. Or you like mean the, the protection? Yeah. That. Yeah. So virus protection is something you can add, and then point that at that drive, and then we can only grab. Then we'll know. One hour twenty six. There you there go. You go. Already yeah. dropped. Yeah. It'll probably drop somewhere. Right. Well, I'd rather they give you a bigger time, and then that goes down. Than right. A smaller time that goes up. Yeah. I'm looking at the download right here. I've got the camera pointed at my uh, router. That's pretty much it. The bulk of the job is this. Oh, I'll get this one too. It doesn't seem too hard if you know what you're doing. Well, I mean, it's an, it's a, there's certain things, like I can't do your job. There's oh, certain yeah. parts of your job that you probably just do blindfolded. That's true. And I'm not going to know how to do no, it. No, but I mean, like, I mean, like, once you get to know this stuff. Like, right. Well, like, it's like, well, it's we exactly both, like my, yeah. yeah, okay. We both have our own skill sets that aren't necessarily difficult. We're like mechanics. 
basically. If you do it all the time, it's easy. Yeah, well, that comes yeah. with anything. Well, it's sort of like taking a test when you know you have all the answers. It's not a difficult test if you have the answers. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Some people bemoan about taking tests in school. It's like, that was so hard. Well, then you didn't really know the knowledge. Pretty much. Yeah. This kid, I'm surprised he's not here. That thing wouldn't stay on. I had to reseed his memory. I recently got a gaming uh, keyboard and a mouse for my setup. Yeah, that's sort of what this is, although it doesn't have the three buttons over here highlighted. Oh, it's just, no, it's just for music production. Oh, so right. It's, it's, it's just like one of the backlit ones. Right. Well, you can remap any keyboard yeah. real easy. And I got one of the best mouses for music production. It has like... You produce uh, your own music or you yeah. do it for others? Uh, well, I don't really sing, so... I'm, I'm mostly, what I do is, my dad works in the television industry, so I, he'll, he'll get me placements in like films and stuff. Oh, all right, music. cool. Yeah. You get residuals off that? Like, like a commercial? Like, like when you get your, like if you did the background music for a commercial, mm -hmm. is that a residual payment forever? For as long as it gets aired? Oh, you're saying like royalties. Yeah, royalties. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah. I get, I get some up front. I don't know if I get royalties. Right, I wasn't trying to know our, our um, actors no, do. Nor, normally you do get royalties, but since I'm starting out, I don't know if we're doing oh, that. Oh, right. I wasn't sure how that works with the music. Mm -hmm. nor, normally, yeah. Normally, yeah, you do get royalties. Well, you can tell right now in the screen here, it's downloading the OS right now. It's downloading a bunch of data. Is that a condenser microphone over there? Yeah, I was like trying to figure out where to put it. Uh, like I got a uh, shotgun right over your head. Yeah, I saw and that another one. Another one over here. And I'm gonna probably run another one over by the door. I might end up needing a bigger mixer. Cause that's, well, it's a 10 channel, but. What I have is a, um, I have an audio interface, which obviously is not, does not have the capabilities of a mixer. Some some capabilities like it's it's just so like, you don't have those extra knobs basically, yeah, basically right yeah, yeah. and it, but it also has preamps and it's all that stuff right and I wasn't sure if I was going to need that but the audio on my YouTube channel comes out pretty well yeah so I didn't really wasn't sure if I was going to end up having to invest into a big studio sort of setup well yeah the only thing I I don't like about an audio interface well the thing the reason I didn't get a mixer like a basic mixer okay there's for the same price. Like Sam spending five hundred dollars. Right. On a, well, on that a, was only one hundred fifty bucks. So. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted. I needed. I needed something bigger with more inputs and outputs. Right. So, was I going to do a mixer or was I going to do a, a interface? And the main factor was you couldn't do multi multi tracking. Right. On like on like the basic five hundred or like whatever. How many? We'll say. I, I think I got it for like four hundred. We'll say yeah. four hundred. Like the Mackie one, you couldn't do like m multiple multi track uh, recordings. So uh, you, it was. It would all go. So say you plugged in multiple mics for yeah. like a, for recording drums, for example. It would right. all. It would all go into your DAW as just one track. Right. And it was annoying. So I got. I got an audio interface instead, which could do multi-tracking. Got it. But like they nowadays they make mixers that do both. Understood. But yeah, but those are like a thousand dollars and up. So I wasn't. I was about to spend that if I didn't right. need it because I can just mix my stuff in the in the program. Yeah. I know how to do it. So. Yeah, now they make stuff. Now they make mixers with like you can you can put in like SD drive or SD uh, what do they call them SD chips or whatever. You can do you can do Bluetooth. You can like do it without a computer. It's like crazy. Really? Yeah, like the Mackie ones. Yeah. Like you can you can put an SD disc in there and I'll show you. They have like guitars in there. Crazy. Oh, I don't want to interrupt with the looks like my horn. Oh, my phone just like sometimes it's happened when I go on Guitar Center like so I have to restart it. How do you do like a hard restart on a Mac? Your phone, it, your phone crashed. Yeah. Well, just close off the screen, right? No, it doesn't. It it's what's wrong with your phone? Oh, it does that sometimes. I don't no, know. Or, well, it looks like it's been 
Is that a cracked screen or is that No, just it's the screen protector. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just restarting. Hold it. Which, is that the, which phone is it's that? It's an 11, so you, you, you do yeah. one click tap on here, one click on the bottom, and then you hold the side. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Yeah. No, that's no, you, no, you don't hold that. Oh, there we go. Well, that's to turn it off. No, what you do is a hard reset, you're saying? You, yeah, you I hit, forgot. You hit that, yeah. and that, and then you hold the button. Oh, that's annoying. No, no, you have yeah. you press it once. Yeah. Boom, and then you hold that for like a, no, you don't you don't hold that though. Right. So you you, you just I'll literally. Try it. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. So I just did this, this, yeah. and then hold that. That's annoying. Yeah, it's how Apple does it now. Uh, yeah, because you don't have the home button. Because it used to be. Yeah. The button on the right, and then the home yeah. button. What update? Are you totally updated? I don't think so. Well, you should try to do that. I Maybe know. that'll help. I don't know. Yeah. I, but I don't have that problem. Yeah. What iPhone do you have? With the 12 Pro. Okay. I have yeah. the 11s. I'm waiting for them to come out with a USB C phone. Yeah. If, uh, uh, the phone t if the 14 has USB C, I'll get it. If not, I'm waiting. And we all know they're going to go that route. Oh, yeah. The uh, European Union said you have to go that route. Yeah, pretty much. And then they've always got their higher end iPads already do that. Yeah. No, because uh, my, friend, my friend got one last year and his, his is USB C. Right. Yep. USB C yeah. is it. I also don't like the lightning port because with the audio, it's just not reliable. Like, I plug the phone into the mixer, mm -hmm. like I'll take phone calls mm -hmm. and plug in, but if I like bump the phone, it ditches. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, like, it's even worse for the MagSafe thing. Yeah. It's even worse. Like those things are like, this this right. into your thing, you touch that thing and it's yeah. just gonna fall out. Yeah. Even though it's like magnetic, it's still not reliable. Yeah, I can't send the audio out reliably. And then uh, the audio uh, CarPlay in the in the car mm -hmm. is just unreliable. Yeah, that too. It, it, I mean, if that if the um, the lightning port gets jiggled, it'll drop the connection and then go to Bluetooth, and then it's like you're, well, you're, <laughs> yeah. you had a big vibrating car. It's the connection like, isn't sturdy enough. Is it? It's like. Uh, Oh yeah, that's no, a big old. That looks like a big mixer. No, it's it's this one, the on the new Onyx ones. Yeah. Multi track USB and Bluetooth. So right. Like you got you got like a sand disk that you can plug in. Does here. Bluetooth actually have enough bandwidth for, for a high like a flat doing all flat throwing flat files around and all that? No, this is just for like streaming stuff. All oh, right. So you can like. Oh, so you could so, instead of an XLR file plugged into a mixer and into a computer's input, you just do it on wireless. No, this is instead of using a computer. Oh, so you would, so the processing all happens there instead of slowing down a computer. That's why you have an SD card, so you can Got so you it. can you can take that from the mixer, plug it in your computer, and then you'll have the recordings. Got it. All right. So that that's what they're trying to do, like make it without a computer, and this has multi track as well, which is Got it. super nice. Yeah, it's like a thousand dollars. Right. That doesn't and it's sound, that actually, if that's really what you want to do. It doesn't sound like a huge amount of money. I mean, yeah, but yeah. No, I'm thinking of a tri uh, uh, t TriCaster. Yeah, TriCaster is what they're mm -hmm. where you have hardware that replace what I'm trying to do live, mm -hmm. and re that replaces a computer. Oh wow! So I can do mixing and all that live without using a computer. Yeah, because there's all sorts of overhead in a Windows machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, that that would be a good investment for me. Yeah, and if I was serious about it and I had more than five or ten people watching at me at one time, I would. Put a little bit of money into it. Oh yeah, I'm very serious about the music. So I have like I have like big um, JBLs, which I don't I don't want to get the Yamahas because they're like five hundred dollars more. Right. Like the JBLs you can get five inches for like on sale. They go on sale all the time. You mean monitors. Like, yeah, studio yeah. monitors. Right. Like you can get you can get five inch studio monitors for like let's say one hundred twenty. I paid one hundred fifteen because they actually went down after I bought them. And you can and at Guitar Center you. It's, they have forty five days where you can right. where you, if the price drops you can right. you can just get your money back. Right. Um, and yeah, so I, I paid like one fifteen for each studio monitor. Uh huh. And the Yamaha ones are like five hundred, six hundred per five inch monitor. And I'm like, I'm not paying an extra thousand dollars just for Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, still there's one hour and sixteen minutes, but oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Well, it's better than two hours. Right. Yeah, a lot of the work is just hurry up and wait. Yeah. 
here. Did you say you wanted to keep that? I took the stuff out of it. Oh, yeah. I don't need the actual plastic. If you right. like me, it's no. out of the way. No, it's fine. Okay. I just, I drug stuff out. I don't, if you ever needed warranty service, technically those drives were warranted for a couple of years. That's why I took the papers. Right. But the serial number says what it was built anyway. Yeah. But I think you need like the, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the serial number is just going to say how old it is. Yeah. Well, you need the, you need the date of the purchase. You need, so that would be on the receipt. You well, need, did I you need, use a credit card or debit card to pay for it? Yeah. Yeah, well then. You have digital receipts. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, I think my mom takes them, like, still, my mom and dad still take them. Like, sometimes my mom will get an email receipt, but, like, they, they're very old school, but they take the papers still. Right. But normally, normally nowadays, you can just do both. Yeah, most of these bigger companies, they tend to be pretty good about warranty repair. That's like when someone like this computer here, mm -hmm. that's a gaming rig. Mm -hmm. Um. A lot of times people will buy like an HP gaming computer or a Dell like Alienware. Mm -hmm. You don't get a good warranty with those machines, they're still just one year. But the components in a gaming rig typically have either a three or a five year warranty. Mm -hmm. So at least if something fails, you'll have you'll need to know how to you'll need to know your way around the computer. But if you have a, an expensive video card and it fails, it's got a five year warranty. Yeah. You pull it out and you get a warranty service on it. Yeah. That's not the way the warranty works. If it's an OEM part, a Dell computer, yeah. you're stuck with the Dell warranty. Yeah. That's only a one year warranty. Yeah. So even when you spend two grand on an Alienware from Dell, you're not getting a better warranty. Yeah. And you're yeah. just buying higher end hardware that's not really that much higher end. And people are pushing it all the time and like trying to crank that, get the best, whatever. And now, building your computer is best if you're an enthusiast or even a gamer and not really a that's tech what people are, enthusiast. Yeah, that's what people are starting to do nowadays is starting to actually build their, stu their own stuff. Right? You're going to get an education, have an understanding of what goes on under the hood, and then the hardware is generally better quality. Yeah, Because actually HP and Dell, we did the numbers. I got a friend I talked to online. We did the numbers and found out that the computer sold, uh, what was it? it was either a Dell Alienware or an HP Omen. Mm -hmm and the power supply was actually insufficient for the hardware we found. So the CPU, oh my God. a video <laughs> card, there just wasn't enough wattage continually mm -hmm. to be reliable. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing. I had another customer. We ended up building them a computer from the ground up mm -hmm. because they ultimately wanted a faster video card. The power supply needed to be upgraded. But then there was um, the CPU. It didn't even occur to me that a gaming rig would sell with an i3 which is like an entry level mm -hmm. chip. It's like, did they actually sell this as a gaming rig? Exactly. So then we found out we needed to upgrade the CPU, but then that motherboard didn't take more than an <laughs> i5, and he wanted an i7, so I said, like, screw it. We're just going <laughs> to get another computer. Yeah. Just, At that point, yeah. Yeah, they ended up spending a little bit more money than they wanted, but ultimately now, each of their device, each of their components is at least a three-year warranty. So... At worst, I might have to eat some labor a year or two from now, but the hardware won't have to be replaced with mm -hmm. anything monetarily. I won't have to spend money to replace yeah. it. Yeah. they won't. Okay, one hour, 20 minutes, 12 minutes. That, that number is probably not even accurate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But whatever. Yeah, you're literally three feet from the router. <laughs> and we're plugged in, too. Right. I'm still, wait, I'm still waiting on the screen. I don't know exactly what time the screen's coming, but I don't have it in my possession, even though it does say it is coming today. Oh, okay, thank you. I'll let you know, but yeah, I'll be quick to get on it. I'll be quick to get on it as soon as I get it, my hands on it.
minutes or so? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. No, that would be a good thing. Just, yeah, but, um, but I might just need to get the data off of it back from another computer. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be there. I, I, I can probably be there in like 20 minutes, half hour or so. Uh, yeah, let me, I'll call you if it takes, if I have to dig okay. into there, but it looks like it's just under one panel. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm a little, I kind of wonder what he's up to. It's like, why are you so paranoid about this drive? Mm. Uh. In that computer? Yeah. He wants to hold on to his hard drive. That always makes me wonder. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it's like, Interesting. What do you not want me to see? <laughs> yeah, for me, I was like, I was like, I was okay. like, I was like, my text messages all Look, the doctor, I, the doctor has seen you naked. I, <laughs> I, I don't care about your data. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, is he going to look too much? No. No, I don't care. He's, he's not that guy. No. Yeah, I just don't care. That's the sort of, I don't care kind of guy I am. I'm not going to find anything that interesting. I had one girl get all paranoid because I was actually trying to help her get her data off a crashed machine. Oh my God. And then when I was trying to over the phone say, yeah, I found it. I found a picture. And she's like, can you not look at my, I don't care. <laughs> she was getting all paranoid. Like I was actually digging around in her stuff. Not trying to be nosy. Yeah. You're just doing your job. Yeah. Oh, 14 minutes. It says. Good. Perfect. Screwdriver. These full-size screwdrivers are not going to work. I mean, ultimately, all I have to do for him is replace that LCD screen. What's the whole deal with like the the balls for the um like the instead of a mouse like the roller? Oh, it saves desk real estate. Okay. So you don't have to move your whole hand. You're just moving mm. your fingers. Mm. I got a bunch of them because I'm left-handed. That's the only model that's ambidextrous. Oh wow. The only problem with that is that it doesn't have a, a click wheel. Mm. Oh, good. His hard drive's right there. And it looks like this thing takes two hard drives. Oh, this thing takes three hard drives. It takes an M2. Fancy. Um, I wonder if he knows that. I'll show him when he gets here. All right. This hard drive, dang, this machine is old, but it takes an M2. Shit. And two, uh, two and a half inch drives. Yeah. So. 14 minutes. Yes. Usually I get one or two viewers. Do you like notify your viewers when you go live? Well, I got like 5,000 Facebook friends so they get that notification. Mm -hmm. But if they're not interested, they'll turn that notification off and I never know if they don't even see it. Because I don't, they're, they're, yeah, it doesn't. Tell me if they've turned off that notification because that's just, all right, Chris was live today. I don't want to see it. <laughs> so if they turn that notification off, they don't see it. And YouTube, if I'm not that popular, well, yeah. then it's not going to go viral. Yeah. I mean, my content's just not that interesting. It's That's why I have all the YouTubers say, would you please subscribe? Would you please hit the like button? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And you if I don't have it. more than one person hitting that like button, I'm not going to go viral. You got to earn it. Yeah. People be begging for anything, like people, especially in the SoundCloud comments, bro. Like every time, the SoundCloud comments on like popular songs are just either bots or like, please check out my song. Right. It's, it's horrible. Well, that's the thing. YouTube has a lot of those bots. Sometimes a bot will show up live and input their link into the chat. It's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> See, this is uh, so you can get an analog port mm. plugged into your device, your iPhone, mm -hmm. but you're still ultimately unreliable because of the uh, lightning lightning port mm. yeah it's just you shouldn't have to be so delicate around a piece of device oh yeah the apple stuff is sometimes so breakable too well the phone that's why i've never had a phone not be in my otter box oh yeah i have, I have one of those yeah. heavy heavy duty yeah i'm spending a thousand dollars on a phone i'll spend 40 bucks on your piece of rubber yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what my parents are like. They're like, if you're going to buy something expensive, might as well just protect it. Yeah, I don't care how pretty it is. I know a lot of people, when they want to show off how pretty the phone is, mm -hmm. I'm not going to drop a thousand dollar piece of glass and then pr cry over it. Uh, do I click? Because it like... Is it restart? It's probably restarting. Okay. 
Just yeah. leave it alone for now. I guess. Oh, yeah, it's restarting. Yeah. So it didn't even take that long. Sunglass cleaner. I don't know if I brought it over. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize sunglass cleaner is perfect for those screens. For like these? Yeah. Oh shit. Because it's the same sort of thing. If you have glasses that are worth hundreds of dollars, that's just higher end glassware, mm -hmm. you want to use something that's delicate. Mm -hmm. Sunglass cleaner is just as good for a computer, also. Oh wow. I know I have a couple of them, but I still have a few things at the other office. My mom has these. Like, oh, there's what I was looking for. The the white. Oh. Can, <laughs> but it's also USB A. I have I have the adapter, but that would still be slower, huh? No, it'd be faster because it's USB or, for, or, it's, or Ethernet. We're doing it over the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it looks like this thing came to life. We didn't wait long enough, so I think we've been using this the whole time. It's blinking. The link light is blinking. Mm -hmm. So. I just wanted to be on the Ethernet for reliability. Yeah. In case some interference got in our way. Wait, it looks like it's okay. 20 yeah. minutes to restart. Yeah, I think at this point we've done our downloading. It's okay. all just installing. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And put it, getting the, like, getting the stuff back on here. Right. All right. Okay, what do I think I'll do? You could pick and choose what you want to drag over there too. Yeah, I'm only I'm probably only gonna do uh, the uh, um, the the stuff I had on my the two things I had because everything else is either free to download uh -huh. online again because it's it's not like sketchy stuff but right. it's, it's like because I, I for some reason I used to have to do sketchy stuff which is probably why I got the virus. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, so I'm not doing that anymore. Right. Because one of these producers recommended this website. And it was like, it was kind of sketchy. And I was just like, uh-oh. <laughs> but now we're OK, because I'm not doing that stuff again. Yeah, I put this pretty much behind the TV. So if I plug something in, it'll fall that way. Oh, yeah. There. But that's, I'm trying to, still fi trying to figure out how I want to have things set up. Yeah. Oh, your, your camera moved. Oh, oh well. Oh, well, I see. it came back a little bit. You're good, I think. Yeah, I'll adjust it later. Uh -huh. I had to use the uh, splitter tape to the wall and the tape gave up. So. Mm. Figure it out. Yeah, 27 minutes. Didn't actually take two hours. Dude, imagine if schools had like you or some shit. Imagine if any tech company had you. Like yeah, that's I, do, I do enjoy the interaction. I don't yeah. have a four year degree, so I technically am not qualified to teach. But yeah, I think I'd be pretty good at doing this in a classroom environment. I mean, some of these degrees are kind of bullshit. Yeah, nowadays you nowadays you're, you're learning shit on Zoom, so. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, the future of education is online. So, I mean, you'd have to come up with a way to credit the content, but Ultimately, I do a lot of online learning. Mm -hmm. I, if YouTube, mm -hmm. like I'm pretty dyslexic, which is why I only have two years of college. Mm -hmm. If YouTube and Audible existed 20 years ago, I would have progressed farther through my education. Did but I didn't realize how bad my dyslexia was. Mm -hmm. I just thought I was a slacker and lazy. Oh, wow. So I didn't get that far in school, and I was basically intelligent. So when the teacher said, you have to read this book, I just listened to the other, and because my <laughs> last name starts with an S, I'd listen to the other kids go first in the class and summarize it in my mind, and that way I could just go by memory. Damn. So I didn't necessarily read all the books I was supposed to read in high school. Shit, so you're like smart, smarter well, than an average kid. Well, smart enough to remember yeah. so that I could reiterate what I already heard Damn. instead of literally reading. Wow. Reading is not an enjoyable experience for me. Nor does it really, nor is it... It, I think it's placed too high on like priority, school priorities. Well, that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize how different we like. So, the graphic equalizer is a great example of what I how I defend intelligence. Mm -hmm. Like you and I, our graphic equalizers are different. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So the first one might be at general IQ, mm -hmm. but then musical intelligence, his mm -hmm. yours is also very high. Yeah. Mine may not be as high. It's just uh, different yeah, types spatial of... orientation is another one of those knobs. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we're all going to have something that looks like that, but it's going to be different. Yeah. So you can't just stamp that IQ and call it that flat number. We all have that spectrum that makes us who we are. Yep. And ultimately puts that final one that says IQ where it is. Mm -hmm. So like if everything's kind of well versus, versus high in another way, you can still have a higher IQ. Exactly. But yeah, they don't see that. All right. I've never heard anyone use that sort of analogy. But we're literally staring at a graphic equalizer, so that's a great a, a way to explain how I define intelligence. See, that's a great definition. We are twenty-four minutes. Normally, this part does take a little bit longer for my computer. I don't know why, but well, my internet's only hundred megs, but I think we're done downloading from the internet. Mm -hmm. So we're all just going through its installation project progress. Yeah, that that's what it takes. Technically, if we lost an internet connection, we're past the point where that okay. would be a problem. Right. I think. Yeah, I think you're right, but uh, we'll see. Do you listen to any music? Yeah, I listen to a lot of my, like my dad's LP collection, but uh, I don't have, uh, I don't listen to too much of the latest and greatest. Oh, I'm, I mean, any music. Yeah, I do a lot, mostly in the car. Mm. Like if I'm in the car for more than a half hour, it's, an auto, it's a podcast or something, but because I like that intellectual content rather than just listening to the same music over and over. Okay, yeah, my mom's calling me. Cool. All right. You can tell her you're 20 hey, miles. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey Chris, how much longer do you think this is gonna take? Twenty minutes. He thinks it's gonna take like twenty minutes longer, but obviously that could vary. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Alright, perfect. Alright, thanks. Bye. She's looking to pick you up? Uh, no, because she has to take my brother somewhere. Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah, so I was checking the audio. Yeah. So that's just our live feed. Yeah. Damn, that's not bad. Yeah. That's only like five or ten seconds out of date. Well, on Instagram, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, on Instagram, it's like a whole 15, 20 seconds. Uh -huh. That's not good Wi Fi. Like, I've had people be like 30 seconds behind. So, yeah. Yeah, so she's taking my brother somewhere and then. If I if I end early, I can I can probably just walk across the street or something to one yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 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 Keeps telling me my stuff got shipped from Amazon, but it's not being delivered. Mm. Is it going to your other location? No, I specifically made sure that got changed. Okay. This guy with the screen, he's waiting for it. Mm -hmm. It says between twelve thirty and four thirty. Thanks. So I'm stuck here for the afternoon. That's how, that's how it is nowadays with all this shipping delays. I wonder if this stuff. guy's gonna even know which drive to grab. <laughs> he's got an SSD M2, and then he's got a mechanical two and a half inch drive. So this is a very straightforward machine. This would be the easiest machine in the world to do an SSD swap. Mm. What brand is it? I don't, some brand I've never even heard of, but it's a big old expensive fast machine from five or more years ago. Wow.
20 minutes it says. Yeah, dude, shit, I've already learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, you have me out for this exact issue, you won't need me again. But yeah, like I said, if, if anyone ever has an issue, I'm going to send it to you. Right. I read your reviews on Yelp. They were really good. Yeah, thanks. I was like, I was like, yeah, only one or two cranky people. Yeah, and, and you, you were able to respond to that. Right. Yeah, I always respond to it as well as I know how. It's yeah. like, dude, like that last one for three stars. It's like, why didn't she even give me one star? She bought it with three. <laughs> She's complaining because I couldn't give her, her machine was dead. The Karen lady. Yeah, her, literally, her name was literally <laughs> That's Karen. That's what I said to my. Yeah. I sent it. I sent it to my. I sent a screenshot to my friend. I was like, Karen destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. You literally are named Karen, and you you give me three stars, so that you could have just done one star. Oh, there's someone here. I think he's going for the drive. Oh yes. Hi. You there? Oh. Hi. Hi. I heard noise. Tater was giving me some sort of, yeah, indication. Tater, come on. <laughs> yeah. 19 minutes. Good. Slowly but surely. Right. Tater. <laughs> you want some more cookies? Oh, it just, it, the screen's black again. Should I tap it or? Just uh, I think it's probably restarting. Okay, just wait. Yeah, it's restarting. You're right. Eventually, it's going to ask you to sign in your your account. You can either do local or an iCloud account. Okay, I'll probably do an iCloud. Wait, local? What does that mean? Meaning it doesn't touch the cloud. Oh, uh, I definitely want to use my iCloud. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that virus is not in your iCloud account because of it. they got their own utilities and things yeah. to protect themselves. Well, yeah, because they don't want. To yeah, the virus isn't in your active folders. It's in the library folder somewhere. Yeah. The uh, system content, which is actually included in the time machine that we created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why we need to install the. Yeah. Okay. Or technically, you could just restore from the iCloud account. Okay. Technically, what we did with it was a USB drive backup, which is technically secondary. Okay. Yeah. And then your data will just fall onto the drive. And we can still wipe the drive, right? Yes. Okay. Thank I mean, technically, it is a wipe drive right now. No, I mean the orange one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do your data management locally. And then what I tell people to do is get like a sticky and label it and date it mm -hmm. so you know what you did to it, when. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people don't do that more often. But some of the thumb drives, they got a uh, labeler. Yeah. They can slide That's thumb what you in. see in like the movies. Yeah. <laughs> so. They got like. Uh, but it'd be cool where like a drive had a place to slide a little note in mm -hmm. so you could label it. That's actually a good idea. I'm sure, I've seen them for thick thumb drives. Hello, hey. come on in. So you know this thing has two drives. Oh yeah, okay, so it's got the M2 and the M2 and a half. Okay, I'll probably take them. So it's not just going to remove both, then I think I can. Yeah. That's why I just left it here, because it's only one screw. Right. Thank you. Your, but, okay, so you really want to be careful when handling that M2. Static electricity is a real problem. Okay. Well, that one wasn't even screwed in. All right, there you yeah, go. Maybe just pop up. Thank you very much. Yeah. As soon as it comes, I'll start on it. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very okay, much. No problem. Why? Doesn't want to leave the drive. Almost there. Oh, yeah. It's rebooting. 
Looks like we're back, almost back up. Good. All right, we got a region. So, do I select my region? U.S. United States. United States. Yep. You don't have to do that now, but you could. Not now. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't got get, the handicap yeah, settings. This is the Wi-Fi. Winter basically, and one twelve eighty. This one I gotta memorize. <laughs> yeah, well, it is easier once you recognize it. Continue. So we're not gonna actually do this. Click uh, not now on the lower left. Okay. Because this is how you would potentially reinfect it if you did the migration assistant. Okay. So you can do so you can either do the ID now or sign up later. But it's safe to do it now. Sure. Okay. Terms and conditions. You know, read it like a rock star lawyer. My dad's my dad's lawyer. <laughs> oh, right. I wonder if he considers you as a contract of adhesion. Create a computer account. So I have to redo this. Basically, this is from before, but I redo it. Let me see if I will. What do you mean? Oh, so create it. So create a local account. Yes. Oh, oh, local account. Got yeah. It. Can I change this account name? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've always been afraid to. I can't just change it to like my name. I don't know if you can have just a space. So, but full name is what's going to show up on the screen. That's a technical file that gets created. I don't think you can have any spaces. So there you go. Okay. Create a password. When you have that page space, I'm thinking that's not going to work. Yeah. Good. Can I change this picture though? Oh, I guess so. Yep. Okay. To an emoji. You don't have any local pictures to change it to right now. Emojis, camera, photos. Oh, you can take a picture as always, yeah. I just use like an emoji. Where's the camera? I can't search for one. Okay, there we go. Uh, guitar. There. Perfect. Oh, style. There. Yeah. All right. So continue. Continue. I've always wondered how to change that because it's sometimes. Uh, I've never met. I've never bothered. It used to be a weird, weird like, um, like an old picture of me. And I was like, I want to update that so no one sees right. that. <laughs> it was embarrassing. But then when I updated to Monterey, it changed to the piano. Right. Thing. iCloud setting up account, is that right? Yeah, so it's linking the local account we just, the local account we just created and Great. syncing it with your identifier. All right.
close to her. Find my yes. Can I do that? Uh, yes. Off, off. Location services on. Siri on. File about disk encryption. Should that's I have that? That's what you have turned on. If you want, you can. Yeah, that's so that someone can't get your data because that password technically is not a secure password. Okay, so I definitely want that on. Sure. Okay, appearance dark. Yes. Screen time on. Siri on. All right, that looks good. Technically, dark mode uh, saves battery power. I like it because it turns off more pixels. No, I don't plate. think you do, but can you set up later? Can I? Yeah, I'll set up later. I love how they the hide the set up later in the yep. text. Yep. Go ahead and click that. Did you click yeah, it? Yeah, I did. Oh. We have the wheel going. It's freaking. Yeah, all that psychological crap. <laughs> you know what a contract adhe adhesion is, right? Mm -mm. I'll ask I, I probably know what it means. Ask your dad if he think if he thinks most of these EULAs that we click next on is a contract of adhesion. Okay. It's an illegal contract that favors one party over the other. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically, those contracts that say, we're never at fault, it's always yours, that's what the, I've always wondered if one of those EULAs, a clever lawyer, could say, no, I didn't sign up for this. And the other argument is, if I pay for the hardware, do I own the hardware? Mm. Why do I have to sign my life away for a contract? If I paid for the hardware. That's a good question. Okay, so what what do, what do we do now? now um, plug in that USB drive. We Do we need to download stuff first? Well, let's just, I'll show you how the drive works. Okay. Plug in. The the orange one? Yeah. Okay. Because that's the one with most of your stuff on it. Yeah, this is the one I backed up to. Yeah, plug in. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, this is Chris. Uh, laptops and desktops. What's up? Uh, wave receiver. Um, Wait, the power supply for what device? I'm sorry, you broke up. Oh, um, I have the power supply that I took out of a uh, O's radio. Oh, that's that's be, that, yeah, that's electron that's generic uh, electronics repair. That'd be on beyond the scope. Of what I'm up to. You said you can do. You can look at it on the scope. No, I'm. So, no, that's beyond the scope of what I'm up to. That you're telling me the power oh, supply oh, failed on a, a Bose radio. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a. It's a. It's a generic power supply. Right. Um, but it's it requires knowing where to stick your probe to see if there's any current. Yeah, I got a guy who can do vintage hardware, but that's probably not vintage enough. Uh, his name is Bob Hovland. I can give you his number, and he can at least have a conversation with you. Oh, okay. So he basically does uh, vintage audio. Let me give you his phone oh, okay. number. His phone number? All right. 310. Okay. 39. 310? Yep, 310-391-7450. Yeah, he's up in Mar Vista. Vista. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. I guess he's a. I guess that's a rarity these days. Yeah. Well, he's a retired audio engineer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. He replaced the pots on that receiver down below. Oh wow. My bass and treble pots were toast. <laughs> oh, actually, that's the other one. I have a bigger version of that one mm -hmm. at my uncle's house because mm -hmm. he's just holding on to it for me. Mm -hmm. But essentially. The traces on those plots were so thin that it was owned by a smoker. Oh. When it, the first time I turned it on, it stank of like nicotine mm. for like weeks. Mm. And the, the, the harder I turned the volume up, the hot, warmer it would get and it would Ooh. turn. Yeah. So basically the plots were toast. All right, so what should I do now? Um, I'll plug the drive in or just yes. go view it. So okay. go view it, go to the finder and go look at it. Click it. And 
Yeah, there you go. Go in there. And now you're going to be able to view it. Where should I go? No, it's users. And then your folder, yeah, there you go. So you're only going to grab over the folders that you care about. That's what we, mm -hmm. the backup. So okay. it's, yeah. So downloads, I need, I need these um, FOPs, that's about it. Okay, so, oh, okay, well, you could drag the whole download folder over if you want. Really? Are you you sure? could, but yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to collaborate your drive. If you already know you well, do. Well, is there a virus on here is what I'm asking. I doubt you do, but you can, um, I'm not worried about your data. Uh, I'm not worried about a virus. Unless you, the, if the virus is in that folder, you would have to click on it for it to activate. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about it, we can install good virus protection mm -hmm. and then scan this drive before you start dragging anything. Can we do over. that? Yeah, so go to eset.com. What's it called? E S E T. Yeah. Dot com. And then they get good Apple protection. So go. How many computers are in the house? A few. Okay, because you can think you get good virus protection. Also for PCs, so if you just bought one license, mm -hmm. it could cover the whole house. Uh, so what we really want to do is do the download. Do I have to pay for this? Yes. Oh, okay. So this is long-term virus protection. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't have anything on me that I could pay for it with. So oh, should okay. I ask my mom or yeah, is, it, is it cool to do? You it? can actually download it for free. It okay. just won't be activated until you pay for it. Okay. So let's. Install it. I don't know if it'll actually scan without paying for it. Get a 30 day trial. Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're going to do uh, just the. Um, for your Mac. Yeah. All in one internet security. You okay. don't need the all in one. Just get the yeah more minimal option. Okay. So allow? Yep, allow. So we're going to install that in that way. Okay, can, we can point that utility at that external drive. I'm not worried about infecting the machine if you were to just transfer those folders. Mm -hmm. What happens is that if you were to click on a virus, then it does its dirty deed. Oh. Yeah. Even if it was still on the external drive. Alright, so this is, do I click on this? Downloads? Yes. Okay. And then execute it, the DMG file. Okay. Yeah. Drag that over, double click the E. Double click the E. There you go. There, allow. And then continue. Continue again. Continue again. Agree. Continue again. Typical. Select all the options. Enable. Continue. Yep. Hi, I'm here. Hello. Hi. Go ahead and Are enable. You your yes, I am. Okay. She just picked up the kids. I'm heading to you right now. All right. Thanks. Bye. Oh. Install? Yes. Okay. Or change install location or just install? No, it? just default. Okay. Installer is trying to install new software. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. I haven't had lunch. Can you bring me a sandwich? A sandwich? Yeah. Um, Subway? I guess. I'm not, that's not. That's pretty bland food. I try to avoid no, that. No, I mean. Anything else? Um, hmm. You definitely want a sandwich? I guess anything. Salad anything. A salad's fine. I just, anything. I haven't had food, had lunch yet. You want pasta? Sure. Okay, I can stop at um, Corner Bakery and yeah. get you. Um, cool, that works. Thanks. With uh, chicken piccata? Yep, that works. Pasta? Thanks. Okay. All right. Like Bye. Bye. There you go. Click OK. System extension blocked. Uh, okay. Open security preferences and unblock it. You, oh, it's under there, the black window. There you go. Sorry. Yep. There you go. OK, so click open. So you do it again. Click um, go details. Click, oh God, move this stupid window. There, check those boxes. Another design flaw. Click OK. Good. Click Allow. Click Start Again. Oh, move it. Yeah, click Allow. That's probably going to end. Now, I think we're good. That was annoying. You have to enable certain backdoor mm -hmm. processes for the virus protection to do its work. And my firewall should be up, right? The, you don't need it. Your router is click start again. Okay. 
That's because we didn't. Yeah, the firewall is actually your router. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, a good router is, any router is a uh, firewall. I don't know why they don't divulge that in plain language. There's something down here. Then do I click that again? Click start again. Oh, yeah, so close, good. Done with that. Okay. Allow us to close, thank you. Alright. So then where do I do I point it at the thing? At the I'm waiting for the utility to show up here. Go ahead and it's go right here. Go, sure. Yeah, click that. Okay. Gosh, that's annoying. Loading configuration. There we go. So technically, if you go into the iCloud settings and check that box, all your stuff is going to fall into the desktop that way too. This is first time. This normally doesn't stay there for so long. Okay, so just let it sit. Okay. That that's the intro virus window. Saying there so long. Is there anything in my settings that I? I don't think so. That window should eventually just disappear. I wonder if you have any. Uh... Go ahead. I can't move that. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. That window's just staying there for a while. So security and privacy. No, what I was worried about. And I just wanted to see if you had any other updates available. It looks like everything's good. anymore. Okay. Let's see. File and folders thing. That's that's weird. Why is that window just staying there? Let me see if something for a second. Reset. Oh. Do I need to click uh, yeah, the lock? Which, yeah. Click that lock and then check that. Here, check both of both those. Of them? Yep. Okay. Later. That one? Good. Accept? Oh, yep. Let yeah. me make sure it doesn't accept. Oh, okay. So, so click yeah. the lock. Yep. Yeah. And close that out. And restart this, yeah. I guess? So, Command Q? Or you know what? Just restart the whole darn computer. Restart the whole computer? Right. Yeah. Uh, should I have this ejected? Yeah, no, leave it. Shutting it down knows to do that. The drive is going to be handled fine. Oh, so you just hold. Do I'll I just restart it? Okay. Perfect. Just do drop down and restart. Reopen Windows. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And do I need to hold any buttons? Or anything? Nope. Okay. Perfect. I think we should be good. <coughs> I haven't heard that in a while. My yeah. mom, that used to be the old sound from my mom's old Mac. Like, Oh yeah, that sound is basically the same as it's always been. They changed it once a couple of years ago, that made the news. It'd be a little faster if I had all the crud on there. What crud? On here? We'll yeah, well, fa no, the faster, uh, the drive that's almost full is going to be slower. Mm -hmm. Oh, because of the ESET or whatever. Well, no, I'm saying if your 256 gig of drive is like 200 gigs full, it's going to be slower. Yeah, okay. So now this window. There we go, detection engine. Good. I got farther than before. Good. Good, now, now that went away. Good. So now, see now it's asking, I don't know if we can do a uh, scan without paying for a license. Go do the trial. Yep. Give me your email. Should I give my real email? Sure, yeah, because you're going to need it. Okay. That needs to be real.
Okay, Activision was successful. Good. Okay. Good. New device detected. Okay, good. So Scan? Do Remember this action? Rem yeah, sure. Scan? Oh, that's it. it's already looking at the Lasik. Got it. Yeah, scan. Yeah, that's what it's Good. looking at. I want, yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay. So now, we'll see if it finds anything. It probably will. If it's malware, it won't necessarily recognize it to be a virus. Okay. But I'm guessing it's going to find a few things. Okay. So yeah, if you want, you just have your mom buy a license for the whole house. Because it's big, they do big volume discounts. It's like an extra fifteen dollars mm -hmm. when it's normally like forty dollars a year for one machine, and then it's another twenty dollars for two years. But it's only an extra like fifteen dollars for a second computer. Mm -hmm. So it's an affordable. It's called S. Is e -set. This yes. E -set? Okay. Yeah, and then when you buy a family license, it's good for Windows and Apple. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, I think we only have Apple in our. Good. Well, my point is that when you buy a license key, that they, they have a license key that can cover Windows or mm. Apple. I think my brother actually has a Windows though. Cool. Computer. But he does it. None of my family like does sec like sketchy stuff. So. Right. I was the only one who really does that. Because <laughs> music production. Well, you need to accidentally click on something nefarious and find yourself in trouble. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, this thing wouldn't necessarily make sense to wait for this because this could take hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you saw how this all happened. Mm -hmm. You're, you have access to all your folders. Yeah. Only grab the oh. folders you care about. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so it was updating its latest uh, library of viruses. That's what that was. So, yeah, you're just going to grab what you really want off of there and put okay. it back on. I can do that right now while this is running? Or do uh, I well, it's scanning this. Okay. I don't know that it would be the most beneficial thing to do. Okay. I mean, at this point, you know what's going on, and you can finish this at home if you really want. And Again, you're gonna, because it's all defaulted, you're going to want to tell it not to go to sleep until this finishes. Oh, okay. And so another one of those examples. Should you do that right now? Sure. Okay. And it's another example of where the Apple engineers just well, they're scanning for viruses. Maybe we don't care if it falls asleep while it's okay. busy. Where do I go again? Go to the battery icon. Okay. So that when it's plugged in, just say never. And you're going to get a life expectancy warning. There we go. Then you can close that out. Now, you can let things scan the whole time okay. and not worry about it going to sleep. All right. So the only thing I need to... So what do I need to do after this is just drag the files I want. Once the th oh, it looks like it found two threats. There we go. It's going to tell you to delete the threat. Okay. And then it'll be safe to drag your folders over okay. and only the folders you care about. So it's doing its job. Yeah, we got two threats. Yeah. Probably more. What was it doing that made it obvious that it was infected? Uh, it had like a it had it was, the CPU was jumping. Oh, and, right. and then the other thing was, it's been doing that for a while, but um, I, it didn't really affect me until it started giving me pop-ups about like your your memory is your memory is is very full. Like stop, right? Like, close some apps out, basically. Right. So then I was like, well, now it's affecting me, so I need to. Because yesterday, yesterday I got the yesterday I got the um, I forget what they call it. It's like something with the like the the search. Whatever this is, yeah. I forget what they call that spotlight search or whatever. Right. It was something wrong with that, and it, it I think that's my, maybe what was started causing it, whatever. Maybe. Got it. So, like, the CPU was up to like nine hundred. Got it. So I was just like, I need to turn this shit off. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you, Tater. Tater. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You beast.
Did you get my... Wait, I don't think my, I can leave, because did you get my mom's information? What? No. Because to pay you? No. Okay. We didn't get that information. Okay. Sorry, right. but she's going to come here to pick you up anyway, right? But I was saying I was going to go across the street oh. to get... Oh. I mean, I guess I could leave my computer with you. All right, well, we got, we're kind of halfway through a virus utility, okay. virus scan. Okay. And it looks like it's going to finish up sooner than later anyway. Okay. Yeah, my mom, I don't think she can pick me up until like 3.30. Oh. So. It's 2.30 right well, now. I'm not going anywhere. My okay. mom's coming over. That was my mom on the phone. Oh, okay. Lunch. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't mind staying if you're cool with that. Yeah, that's fine. No. giving me free content on on YouTube. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, someone's just gonna Google this conversation and get something out of it. Yep. And some intellectual discussion on Right, they just don't, they're just gonna have to understand the fact that we don't have a camera on your machine because yeah. it's a private machine. Yeah. They didn't have to worry, we haven't really divulged anything private, so. Of course, the world knows my Wi Fi password now. <laughs> Wi Fi only goes about 50 or 100 feet from this building. So mm. if I see a band that says FBI surveillance, then I'll know they're after me. <laughs> yeah, usually I get one or two viewers. It's been zero this whole time for the whole two hours. So Wednesday. I was running through all my drum kits. That's fine. Yeah, it'll tell you where it finds it. It's not gonna be in my drum kits. That's just like literally, um, like wave files and uh, MP3s. Oh, six. We're up to six. Love way. Oh, it's hitting more. It's going through all like the weird files. Now we're in Omnisphere, which is like, whatever. No viruses there. But. Seven. Yeah, see, that's the system. Since it's a total time machine backup, mm -hmm. where it's finding it is deep in the system, not your content, really. Yeah, okay. That's my point. That's why I was fairly confident that you can just pluck the downloads folder okay. or the desktop folder and drag it. See, it's telling us these are deep in the system. Yeah. And what I've tried is that even after you do a devirus of this, uh -huh. That's still not going to guarantee a fix. Like if you try to do an extraction of like the Time Machine um, uh, data migration assistant, it'll still act up because we're essentially plucking the virus with tweezers okay. doing this. Yeah. If you try to take this drive and put it on a new system and do that migration assistant, you potentially have a messed up system. Okay. So what do I do with this, basically? Do I delete the stuff still? It's gonna give. It's gonna create a button that says delete or I warranty. Can, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't need any skills. That's for not. It. That's not like plucking it though, right? No. Okay. Well, what it's doing is deleting the viruses from here. Yeah. So we know that your data that you've created, your intellectual property, is not what's infected. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So far, it looks like all seven of those viruses have been weird, obscure locations that are not the desktop folder, the pictures folder. The video folder, nothing, nothing the desktop, those. the downloads. Yeah, downloads. Just those are all the folders that most people care about, and that's not where those viruses were. Perfect. Let's go do like the serious stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> Some of this stuff. Up. Well, viruses they they can move and they try to hide, so the virus protection can't grab it. So. Think about that's stuff why. like cats. Yeah. They can try to put the, the viruses can try to put themselves in weird places. Interesting. Where 
is my Amazon delivery. Hmm. Package is out for delivery. Come on. We're very sorry it's late. If you've not received your package by the boat, oh, you can come back for just come on. Oops. Is that your mom? No, it's my girlfriend. Cool. <laughs> Tony can eaves she can eavesdrop on YouTube. Threats were found, not to be cleaned automatically. Action, do I change the action to delete? Yes, delete On all of them? Yep. There you go. That's how that works. Okay. And that was the root of your issue. And finish? Yes. Seven, damn, seven. There we go. Good, click OK. A oh, 14. Oh, shit. Yeah. So now you're basically safe to drag your content from that drive to the, the internal machine. Okay, so you press OK? Yes. There. So now it's going to sit there dormant like a cop and wait for something to happen. Okay, perfect. Uh, make sure not to activate those. So users. Yep. Me. Yep. Downloads. Yep. No, you cleaned up the machine, so you're only going to grab what you care about, and you'll have more storage to work with anyway. How do I go on silent? Like, silent like, what? I forget. Like, so that it doesn't, like, keep beeping. You mean turn off all the notifications? Yeah. Uh, it's in the iCloud settings I'll somewhere. You, oh, that's iMessage that's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do it later. Yeah, iMessage is the same content as on your phone, okay. so. I need this for sure. I need... These are FOPs. Previous seven days. Okay, yeah, I need all these. Uh, yeah, I need this, that, these are, these are all like FL Studio, which is the DAW that I use, these are all those. I don't even know how any of that works. It's basically files that, um. They're like plugins? No, they're the actual files that I've created. Oh. Um, do I need this? I can just re-download that, I guess. My, my friends send me. FLP should be fine, I think. Okay. Okay, FLP. FLP, FLP, FLP. Bro, some of these, like, if I lost these, that would be crazy. Yeah. Like, That's why I beat everyone up over backing up. I'd be scared. I don't need this. I can just redownload that. All right. Well, I have actually I have Dropbox for that. I'll just take it anyway. Unit theory final. Yeah, I'd love to keep that. Okay. Thank you. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, now you have a lesson and a fix. So. Yeah. How much was this? Like two thousand five hundred. No, I mean how much? Oh, this was almost a thousand. Thousand bucks. No, a thousand dollars for this unit. No, the drive. SSD. The SSD was a thousand bucks. Ooh. Almost. Yeah. 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 It's still. It's the one my. Oh, it's uh, four terabyte. That's why. Yeah, four terabyte. Yeah. My, uh, my, uh, the guy that uh, I did an internship for in in Hollywood. He's the engineer for um, some stuff, and yeah, he um, he recommended it. 
Right, because it's going to be a lot faster. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, well, my drunk. Oh, my drum kiss. I'm going to have to re-download. I you can't just drag them over? I mean, I can, but like... You don't think there's going to be anything bad? No, that's not part of your virus. Okay. Yeah. So, it's like all this download stuff, basically? Right. Okay, all right. Sometimes you can accidentally download a nefarious thing and accidentally transfer it, but... I don't need the lessee toolkit installed. Ah, Amazon's right there, across the street. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do I need the uh, the thing for this, the toolkit installer for this? No, you don't need to install software to make your USB drive function. Okay. Okay. If that's what you just said, right? Basically. Yeah. FOC. The software that it came with is not necessary. Ah, shit. What that software is is a backup utility. Uh, I just accidentally... So should I, like, do it, like... Kind of stuff like one at a time. Kind if of you want, I mean, that's why if it were my personal machine, I just grab over the whole folder, okay, and then do my house cleaning later. I, am. I don't want to tell you to piecemeal it or do your house cleaning with me over your shoulder. Um, I mean, uh, that's the point, though. I mean, you can always revisit it later. I just select everything and then just pluck out the stuff I don't want. Sure, that might be easier. Dude, the Amazon guy's got his feet up on the dash, like he's just hanging out. <laughs> Definitely can't go anywhere knowing I'm expecting three or four things. Shit. Well, it's good that your mom's bringing food then. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay. The only place I was walking distance for lunch is uh, the Thai place next door, mm -hmm. which I haven't had a chance to try out yet. And then the subway, which I'm not really excited to try. Yeah. Because that's really bland food. And I, my mom even said when she was in there and tried to tip the uh, waitress, uh -huh. or not the waitress, the uh, cashier. He said, we don't see it as yips. It's like, really? I don't want to support that. <laughs> yeah. It's like when, the, when you pay by credit card, it gives you the tip option. Mm -hmm. So the tips aren't showing up in their paychecks. Jesus. I think it's just going to be like FOPs until we get to towards the bottom. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, just m make it a point not to overwhelm your drive, since obviously you have a relatively small drive. Well... The FLPs take up like literally, what's the smaller than a megabit? What you mean they're kilobits? Yeah. In size, yeah. Yeah. Don't need that. Yeah, the Amazon guy's just sitting on his ass. Okay. These are all installers that I don't need. Uh oh. Hi. Oh, you have another one. I was waiting for the guy across the street. There's another Amazon truck from yeah. there. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. What's a VCF? V card? What the fuck? I don't <laughs> what know. I'm not. I'm not taking that. <laughs> okay. Here are all my folders of like, drum kits and stuff. Okay. Oh, there we are. Nothing should be bad until we get to the top of each year or month or whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not taking that. Hi, Stuart. It's Chris. I'm waiting. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I've been taking my time getting my stuff out there. It's just been hectic. Go ahead. Is that? Go ahead. I figured that's what you were checking on. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, probably uh, today and tomorrow would be the last day I drive all my crap out of there. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to not drag my uh, my leftovers to the new place. Thank you. Yes, it's been a huge help. So t tell Duncan tomorrow I'll be around. Thank you. Bye. So I drag this into the downloads? Yes. Yeah, I was feeling bad. My old, my old man would let me take my time getting out of the old place and not charging me another month. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's nice. The building's coming down, so That's what it we're is. all getting forced out. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good, yes. I was feeling real guilty because I hadn't been up there in a couple days. 
I still have a few things like my refrigerator. No. Uh, a couple other things. Oh, what's this? Yes. So, yes, once right. we do all this, how do we like wipe the drives? You just format it. That's what formatting does. So then, formatting basically, is, it, for all intents and purposes, it erases the content of the drive and preps it for uh, re adding data. How do I do that? Oh, you just go to the disk utility. That's what we did to create the partition. With these? Um, so, if you, go, if you type disk utility, okay. that's the utility that allows you to partition these drives. Okay. So internally drives and external drives. Okay, perfect. So, like, if, you have a, if someone hands you a drive that was used on a PC, you format for Mac. That's what that AP, APFS is. Mm. So, like, if you plug it in and it's a PC, it'll say NTFS. Okay. You'll be able to see the content, but you won't be able to write to it. That's because it's not for Mac. Okay. So, so I can do that with all these drives. It's yes. Just, I just plug them in and then run the thing. Yes. And it takes two seconds per okay. drive. Yeah. Okay. But I'm still going to run the cybersecurity thing. Good. Yeah, I'd recommend it. So I literally just plug them in and then run the thing and then. Yes. Okay. Perfect. What is this? What weird packaging? All right. Oh, that's what this is. Aha. Oh, that's another thing I probably should have. What? Well, I forgot the folder, so we're good. Oh, it's just the activating your license. Okay, we're good. Shit. Okay. There we go. Can you hold this up for me? Yeah, I got you. What exactly do I hold? Just hold this right there, right there. Just hold this up. Okay, there you go. Yeah, make it kind of level. There we are. Uh, there we go. That's pretty level. Let go. Okay. We good? Yeah. There we go. All right. Perfect. I can put that camera over the TV behind you. Mm -hmm. The one next to you, basically the cable. Mm -hmm. There. Now I got a shelf for the top of the TV. Dang. So, there you just do that for the other folders you care about. Applications, there's nothing in here. Okay, Spotify, I can just re-download. Zoom, I can just re-download. Yes. Uh, I need Omnis, or I mean, I need Auto Tune. So, uh, I think I have a version on my on my old one. So uh -huh. could I just pull that over? If it's an app. If it's an app, you should still be able to drag it over. Okay. The executable. This is it. Yeah. These are them. Did that icon install the whole app? You might need to install, download it again, the original source. Okay, how do I do that? What, what is it? It's Autotune. Uh, was that something you got from a website? Yeah. Then you probably just have to go to the website again. Okay. Because that might be part of a program, not the actual whole program. Do I need to buy it again though? Uh, did you buy it for the first time? Yeah. No, you just re-download it by signing in. Okay. Yeah, when you buy an online thing, it's yours forever, basically. Okay. So you can just sign you in. You sign into the website okay. with your account and you should be able to have a download link. Okay. Alright, so I have... So how do I... So I go to Disk Utility, you said? Yes. Disk. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, this is Chris. Hello, this is Chris. Oh, I hate when the phone does that. Hello, this is Chris. God, I hate when it does that. So, do I partition or erase? Either one. Okay, partition. Basically, for all intents and purposes, it's the same thing. Okay. It isn't, but for all intents and purposes. So, do I suggest, do I do, which one do I do? Here? Um... Just the regular APFS. APFS is the modern Apple format, yes. Um, size four terabytes. Yeah, that's the whole machine. Yeah. Yep. Apply. Yep. Okay. So once this is formatted, and no, once you've got everything on the internal drive, 
that you want, then you can use the SSD to do a regular time machine back. Okay, so I can yeah. I can I can partition this right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I took all my files. Okay, we're good. Let me call this back. This phone number didn't want to work. I hate when it does that. Hi, this is Chris with South Bay Tech. It looks like my phone crashed as I was trying to answer the phone. Oh, yes. Uh, which parking lot are you at? Did I give you, do you not have my Redondo Beach location? I'm sorry. I've only been to my Redondo space. Uh, I'm down here in Redondo, so I'm about five miles south. It's 713 South PCH. What is it again, 713? 713 South PCH. Okay, I'll head over. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Yeah, I'm still trying to update all my addresses online. I got like five, all my all the review sites. Mm -hmm. Yelp is the one where I have to call them up and say, "Hey, dude, I've changed." So it's frustrating. Okay, so this is this is now empty. Yes. Okay, so used other volumes. There you go. Okay, so we're good. Yes. And the next one, basically. Yeah. Do I just do I just leave this running? Like. Well, no. Yeah, for, that's oh yeah, it. that's leave it always running. Yes. So then just eject this one. Yes. And then how do I S or E set to my iCloud drive? Or you said they have Just, their own system. Well, the E set, you point it at any drive you put, plug in. No, but like the iCloud stuff. Oh, the iCloud, it's just going to manage. So basically, if you were to sign in to the iCloud and hit the iDrive checkbox, it backs up all the stuff from here to the cloud. It'll be running in the background as it downloads. No, but I'm saying for encryptions. Oh, for encryption? Like oh, you want to encrypt security. the machine? Or no, no, oh. no, like security. Like. Yeah, the encryption for the whole drive? Or I meant like using, can I run ESET? Can I run through ESET or like my iCloud stuff? Or Your ESET is going to protect anything locally. Okay, locally. All yeah. right, got it. Thank you. Yeah. And that'll keep you from uploading content to the cloud that's infected. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically like a seatbelt sort of situation. So next drive we'll do. I think this is the this is the this is the old one I think. Yeah, this is the old one. I'll do I'll do the one I recently did first. The one I just bought. I'll do this one right now. Cool. So yeah, it only takes two seconds to format a drive. Well, I need to download stuff from here too. Oh right. You grabbed everything you needed off of the orange drive. Off the orange one. Got yeah. it. I just need my my two plugins back. Right. You can get yourself a little USB-C hub too, so you don't have to plug so many things in. And, yeah, mm -hmm. a hub, so you don't have to. Yeah, I have. I have. Oh, a you couple. have one at home. I have a couple. Cool. No, I brought one. Like cool. one, it, like this. You're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You showed me that. Yeah. yeah but that's USB USB A. I was thinking you can get one for C also. Oh, so you could have. Okay. So you don't have to do all these converting little things. Yeah. Well, yeah. This. This is USB C. Yeah, my point is you can get this in USB C because eventually these newer drives and things will all be USB C. Uh -huh. That's all. Okay. Yeah. They have a dock for this machine that looks like it's designed for it. Okay, it scanned in 12 seconds because there was like nothing. On Good. It. Okay, and then drag the stuff over. Yeah. And my passport for mm -hmm. Mac. Mm -hmm. And I can rename this, right? Correct. I go on like. Oh, perfect, green name. I'll need. So should I just? Um, where's film on two? Okay. I think these are just everything I can drag in, huh? Yeah. Okay. These are all the files. Yeah. And if you want, you just drag the whole thing over and then pluck out what you don't want later. Okay.
see if I have enough space for this. Yeah, I do. Because this is the stuff I also need to put on my orange drop. Got it. Yeah, once it's all consolidated, you'll be good. So I can, once it's all like, once it's all on the computer, I can just, just start doing a regular backup. Yeah. Okay. And that'll be your updated backup. Okay. Minus all the crap you've decided to not bring along. All right, perfect. Yeah. At, at this point, you might be able to call your mom and tell her you're almost ready. Or well, ready. yeah, she's driving my brother over right now. Oh, cool. So she's going to come at 3.30, which is a night, like, a right. half hour. Cool. Yeah. Check out how my shelf works. All right, let's see here. There we go. So now that I'm working, now I have here we go. See? Now I can Those are some cool stickers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Now I have it all nice. I don't have to literally glue that camera anywhere. I got a shelf on top of my TV here. That works Perfect. out. Damn. Method to the madness. Literally hanging my gadgets from the ceiling. There we go. Of course, that shelf allows me to go over here. Oh yeah, that'll work pretty well. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Oh, my mommy's here. It's dragging stuff over? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Salad and Thank you. 
Do you utensils? What? Do you utensils? Are there plastic ones in the bag? I don't think I have any here. Okay, well. We'll figure it out. No, here's a bunch. Oh, thanks. thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I like those pants. Oh, thank you. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> Like I can do the uh, LCD repair live. Wow. That's the sort of repair I can do live on camera. If I'm a little less conf comfortable with a particular machine, I won't bother to do it live. Mm -hmm. Just because no, it's not even that I'm intimidated by it. It's just that if it takes too long, I can't articulate what's going on. It gets boring. Five seconds. Good. There. Now you can format that external drive. That's I what think, you want to do. Yeah, I think that's everything. Did I put in the onion? I came with my media folder in there. Cool. I think I did. Let me just double check. Uh, kind. Uh, might take another couple minutes. Alright. What you do is uh twenty one gigs, but it's yeah. just three minutes. Sweet. Yeah, this is where all this is why I don't have enough storage for that. Right.
in a minute, this fellas. Fucking crap. Yeah, essentially you're fixed. You just have to move your stuff around. I had one more question like a few minutes ago. Oh yeah, so like when st when stuff in my downloads folder that was supposed to be in like, for example, my applications folder, like how would I? You have to double click that executable from the downloads. It'll just create itself in the okay. program's file. All right. Or the library or whatever folder it gets installed in. And am I gonna have to like re-put all my passwords on here? Uh, well, the keychain. If you were using the uh, the Apple keychain, oh. then no, uh, it should just be there. Okay. Your passwords are there already. Okay. There. All right. So this one I can wipe now because yes. I put literally everything that was on there. Yes. Even though this was the new one that had nothing on it, besides it, should I still wipe it? What is it? Um, it's the new one we bought today that we well, just... Well, not really. It'll okay. just get rid of the utility for backing up off of there. That's all. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, just go to the disk utility. Oh, you're worried about the content yeah. on this camera? No, the camera's... You're out of view. Okay. There. All right, thanks. Um, disk. There, start disk. that, and that's disk. how you format or partition a drive, yep. Yeah. Partition it? Yep. Uh, APFS is the more up to date version of the system. Okay. Two terabytes, that's what? Yeah. Perfect. You could potentially split that in half if you wanted. Really? Yeah. So you partition it. Hello, this is Chris. Hello, this is Chris. Okay, I'm I'm upstairs, Unit B. Uh, curbside parking is all I got. I'm sorry, um, but I'm in the building with the glass walls up front. Yeah, I'm directly across the street. I'm on the other side. I'm on the west side of the uh, street. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you're looking in the right direction, 713. Pacific Coast Inn, I'm staring at from my window. 713, yeah. There's two silver cars directly out front. Thanks. All right. All right, we got one more drive just to wipe. I drop Because I think, well, unless I want to put the auto tune on it. I'm probably going to do that, put the auto tune on here. Or maybe I should check if I can put the auto tune on here. Or maybe I'll just do it. Okay. So just have this run. Did he set? Yeah. Alright, it's gone. And this should have some of the similar viruses. Cause oh, just, really? Yeah. Might take a while. So should I just stop it and then yeah you can do that later if you want either way i mean it's just backups from like years yeah. ago so should i just like i would do i would go through all your backups and just okay. see if there's anything affected eventually yeah all right what i'm saying is should i just should i just pull the um flps and then delete and then if you want okay because that's the only thing i had on there was just yeah it's not the huge deal Because the viruses aren't in the FLPs, so. Right. All right, so maybe just pause it, or? If you want to do it now, that's fine. Okay. Right. So should I press pause or stop? You can just stop. Okay. Because you're going to do a whole one later. That's how yeah. you're going to do it. Okay. All right, so I can go in here, just pull out the. Um, you eject it, don't just pull it. No, I mean like pull out the files and then oh, put right. it in here. Yeah. Okay. How do I get this to be as well as perfect? All right, let me set this down because I can't reach with my dinosaur arms. Okay. Oh, these are all MP3s too. Okay, I'm gonna have to take MP3s and uh, is that you think MP3s are will be a problem? Or? You're probably fine, but you may already scan it. Yeah, just scan it later. 
So I can, should I put the MP3s on right now? Or? You can. Okay. Dragging and dropping files is not going to affect your machine. Okay. It's only actually clicking on them. Oh, the okay. Valid. Okay. Yeah. So this is all just MP3s. So yeah, that should be fine. Downloads. This should take literally like less than a minute. This is just, oh. it's just MP3s, like 100, maybe 100 MP3s that are like maybe four megabytes. Right. So it adds up to a little less than two gigs. Good. And then I already got those drum kits. I just need the FLPs. Dot uh, FLP. So I can just like, if they're all FLPs, I can just like take them, right? Yeah. Because I don't need that. So I can just do. I could just do Command A to get all of it, or should I? If you want to select it all, that's fine. Okay, because they're just the FOPs. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. There's even less because I'm just going to the hard drive ones. Make sure these are all FO Studio projects. What was that? Zip archive. Don't need that. <laughs> That's, I have so many projects that I've just right, just like done and then just kind of left them there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go through all those old ones. Okay. Already exists. Apply to all. Already exists in this location. Do I replace it with the one? Oh, here. Oh, I find one reason why you're still there. You need it. Almost set? Yeah, I think so. Your mom, your mom's the one over there. Yeah, let me just make sure these all. Because there was one I. I don't know if it, like, did it. Didn't what? It didn't uh, copy these FOPs. Got it. Because it, it like showed the. Maybe I don't have enough storage. Let me check. Storage. No, we're good. How much does the system take normally? Forty gigs. Really? Yep. It's taken more than that before. Yeah, something like that. Depends on the updates. Okay. other computer right behind you. Okay. Do you want me to move it? Um, I I wish I had another switch Hello. Hi. Hi. I got it. Alright. Yeah. You mean to put you through the work? Oh, it's fine. Alright. Um, I'm okay on the street till 6, right? It yes. Says, okay. Because they tow up yeah. more towards Hermosa where I'm Yeah, they, they, they don't do that. Okay. Redondo. Good. Maybe I'll pull my car in when I leave. Sure. And load it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I can, I can uh, do the thing now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, that's your dog? 
Yeah. Is No. <laughs> no, he's not that good. <laughs> Just wait. Go in the bag. Oh. Tater, what else? No, there's nothing in there. Just a bunch of Nothing in here. Hi. He, he really had to go. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put this in the dumpster over here. Thanks. Should do I do AF, APFS? Yes. Okay. Four terabytes? Alright. So what we're doing is migration from one machine to another? No. What are we doing? Um, Sorry. This is the one that I lost the pictures, but they oh. never went over. Oh, right. We're doing the uh, investigation. Yeah. We're trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Search for the pregnancy photos. Pre <laughs> got it. <laughs> well, I don't know what else I'm missing. That's the only thing I noticed. Got it. Hey, Tater. Um, Tater. The old Mac needs a third-party monitor. I have one in the car. Why do you need this, a third-party monitor? Because the screen doesn't work. That's uh, why I got the new Mac. Oh. I have the, the thing. I have what one in the car. Oh, okay. so are you using this third? Um, are you just using a, a regular HDMI monitor? Yeah. No, I, just, I got plenty okay. of those. I figured. I just brought the. All right. Okay. Let me uh, I don't know what I brought. figure out where, where we want to set up. Let's okay. I'm fine on the floor. No. We'll the floor. <laughs> set up. All right. Well, let's use. It just takes a while for it to boot up to the old ones. Oh. It's struggling. I got the, uh, I have plenty of everything, okay. so. I figured. I'm just trying to figure, oh, you know what, let's do this. Um, yeah, I've only been here for several days, so I'm not quite what, I, know, okay. what I need to be here. I didn't even know you had a second location. No, I've I don't, over there I'm moving, years. I'm moving. I see. That building's coming down. Oh, it is? Yeah. It needs to everyone's come down. Getting, <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting kicked out eventually. My sister said, he's in the little shed that goes down downstairs. Oh, that was a while ago, too, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Heck. Let's see. Let's do this. Uh -oh. What's in here? Excuse me. This is the one where the screen is bad, right? Yeah. Alright. You should have just had it fixed and I would have avoided all of this. What year is it, do you know? It's 2014. Yeah. But they said if I get the screen fixed, there's a 30% chance I'll lose everything. <laughs> what? what? I know. That so makes I didn't no do sense. It. So I just got a new iMac and then when it migrated, I lost all the stuff. So. Wait, they, they, they didn't walk you through backing it up? Well, it was back up to the iCloud. Yeah. And then it was, I tried to do it on the... the and that's ultimately why you're here, because you're missing data. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's see. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what we need is this. Here, you're such a good boy. Okay, so this plugs in. <laughs> Even you knew that the statement was wrong. All right. And this one has more photos on than Got that it. one, but I'm still missing okay. photos from my desktop. Got it. It's all right. It's okay. Put that aside. Okay, how are you so doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Is he fixing it? Yeah. You guys live in the same? I live in Manhattan Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's a little further for you, but. There we are. No signal. Is there anything we have to do specifically to show up a signal up there? It just takes a minute to, All right. to boot up a little. Okay. Do you have a wireless keyboard and mouse in that bag? There's my wireless. Oh, that's for the new one, it looks this like. Is the old one? That's the old one, huh? Yeah. And I think that's the old one. Okay. And then I have the new one, too. Yeah, we I tried still? to separate them. 
Okay. Is there anything we have to do to shut that sink? How long does it normally take? It takes a little bit. All right, yeah. yeah. Your hard drive started to fail. Oh, yeah. It started yeah. glitching. Like, eventually it'll just pop up with the iOS screen. Right. Yeah. So maybe there's better that I got a new one. Is that what Bruce is doing? Oh, yeah, his hard drive is starting to fail. Mm -hmm. Everything's good, yeah. I got the screen. That's just a regular TV slash. Well, hey, now it looks like it's yeah, so there it goes. Yeah, just pass the thing a little. There, there you go. go. Good. <laughs> Good. Let's do this. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Touch bar. Move this over here. Display. How do I get you the touch bar? The tu what do you mean? What do you mean the touch bar? The you know this. The thing where you know on the 2019 Max it has this thing. Yeah. What do you mean? How do you get to it? Like in settings. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't okay. play around with it. All right. I don't have one, so I'm not sure. I, I, can, able to walk you I can just do it later. I was trying to, because okay. my mom's about to be here. But oh, yeah, I, okay. I finished all the stuff, so thank you so much. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Did the guy call the other day for games? No. Games now? Someone else. Go ahead. Oh. I called this morning, and we, no, we've been working all day. Oh, I was going to plug it in over there. You didn't forget that. I was rushing out and no, trying to load my car. And don't worry about it. In fact, I'm probably going to buy myself one of those so you guys don't have to worry yeah, about it. Right? Oh, okay. Buy what? She's got a proprietary plug for her newer machine. Hmm. I found it. Okay, we're good. All right. So my suspicion is that because this machine is so almost failed, that might be why we don't see the content. Yeah, it's not on this one or that one. Okay, mm. but yeah, well, let's I'm see what's going on. It's going to no, talk like right. an idiot and it's you just right. translate. It's all right, yes. Yeah, so computer language. I want you to go to the settings. Is it so good? And then go to the iCloud. I want to mm -hmm. check some. Hit cancel. And then go to the iCloud where it says Apple ID. Just gonna be patient with this machine. Yeah. I'm glad I came in when I did because my hard drive is really Well, I recognize how long it took to boot. It does. Yeah, at first it was just the screen would glitch. Right. But it's been since that Well, was I could see November. how the screen's physically all jittery. That's where it started. Yeah. And then I just did the, it came back once in a while. Right. And then it just stopped coming back. So right. It this Got it. No, I'm fortunate to experience. Well, it's good I have a new. You have a replacement map. machine, right? And hopefully, I'll have a backup. Now. Do you know if the drive in this newer one is bigger than the older drive? Okay, so my only worry is that maybe this has a terabyte drive and this has like a 256. Do those numbers sound familiar? Yes and yes. Okay, so it is possible because that's the newer technology. 
that it actually has a smaller drive than what the older one has. I'm worried that you have a bigger library of content than what this physical device can take. So let's fire this up and see what's here. Okay. I know that sounds like a ramming rod. Yeah, no, Ramrodding a bunch I of data. I bought here. a pretty expensive computer. We'll yeah. Cover that stuff. It's still <laughs> well. You'd be surprised how often people come to me and their brand new machine has half the memory their older one had. Yeah, I didn't know that. So it looks like your cloud drive had the checkbox. Yeah, but I didn't use this iCloud drive before I got that one. I just used iCloud backup. Okay. But well, then when all my photos did come through to that one. Right. And it, it took like a week. It, it looks like the photos is checked. I checked it from the Apple Support guy. Oh. But it wasn't so checked before. Right. Is he so doing? That, okay. Oh. Okay. That's. And that's okay. when I lost my desktop photos. Got it. Okay. So can you go to about this Mac and tell me how big that drive is? Sure. Yeah. Where's that? <laughs> Apple. Then about this Mac. <laughs> sounds like me. It's all right. Okay, you can laugh at me all you want. I know right. what I'm doing. No, I'm laughing because I'm <laughs> I know less. I'm laughing because you know more than I do. All right. So we're going to turn on this other one also. Put the power on these new ones. It's, I think, on the side. Oh, yeah, it's still the same. Wait, it's the same. Yeah. There's something on the side to it. There. So about this Mac. Yeah. Yep, that's my good failure. What's the password on your new one? Um, Amber B1. All lowercase? Yeah, a Amber and then a B and then a 1. Chris, yeah. my mom's about to be here. Cool. So she'll pay you. Sweet. That's it. Amber B1, right? All lowercase? Yeah, does that work? Uh -uh. Maybe it's Amber B1 exclamation. Here, why don't you do it? All right, I'm dyslexic okay. and you need your muscle memory. <laughs> there we that go. That could have been, yeah, now that it was capital A, now that I did it. There, that worked. That. that worked. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Go to the uh, storage. It's a 2013. Oh, late. Yeah. So I think I had an early 2014. All right. So you have a terabyte drive. Let's see how big a drive you have here. Oh, Where's your so mouse here? All right, Chris, I'm gonna unplug the charger. Sure. Do I have to unplug it from the other side too? No. It won't start a fire, right? No. Okay. Oh, so my, it might have backed up my external drive if it has that much. We don't know yet. Oh, okay. Um, it looked promising. I'm even waiting for this one to kind of finalize how much data is here. So, yes, that's exactly what the issue, well, not the issue. You have a terabyte drive over here, you only have a quarter gig here. And this one's almost full, right? So that's, so here's our problem. So I upgraded the iCloud on this. Okay, you upgraded the cloud, that's cloud memory. Mm -hmm. Physically, you only have a quarter gig, you have a quarter of the storage that your older one has. So you can see you're already 80% full. That's gonna be a problem in the future. Can we get it fixed now? And well, then we, I can so return this again what's, later. What's, no, I'm just kidding. How old is this one? I bought it in April. So April, May, June. Yeah, it's not upgradable, that's the problem. So that's what's so frustrating. You can't upgrade any of these newer devices. This one you can actually upgrade the hard drive in. This one you can't. And unfortunately you've got a 250 gigabytes, basically a thousand gigs is what this terabyte one terabyte is. Um, so we got a problem. You might have more data there. Yeah, what this thing can even take. Right. Okay. Uh, but also, we have a syncing issue with the yeah. iCloud. Mm -hmm. So. Can I add storage to the next storage? Yeah, you can, but then you have to make it a point to recognize it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how frustrating. I don't. I wish these salespeople would interview people properly. Dude, the same thing happened to me. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like I was talking about. I had no idea that this had more. You figure it's older. Right, it, but it's a newer technology, which is what makes it faster. Okay. And, that's, and they make it smaller that's to keep the price point at a point where you're still willing to spend money on it. So you've literally got four times the storage on the older machine. Um, your iCloud drive is both, basically telling me. Can you kind of tell me 
machine, where you think your stuff it should be. It should be in the iPhotos, right? No. The stuff I lost was on my desktop, so... I'm going to close out your, oh. mail, your, your, uh, your mail. You don't want to open my Jeter? I don't need it. Jeter! Or my neighbor cutting into Jeter, Jeter. No. Okay. Oh, gee, did they do that? <laughs> What's that? Oh, she took a picture of their neighbor drilling into her property to make a fence pit. She's, oh. the worst. She's the worst neighbor ever. Um, so it was oh, here. Mom's picking me up. Right. Mama? Yeah. And it was in a folder a like these. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is weird. I have now something called Desktop iMac 2021, which yes. I don't even know what that is. Okay. But it was like, it said like Sharon's photos or Sharon's pictures. Can you do a search? Just type what you think it is right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll do Sharon's. They should all be from 2008. Yeah. Um, they should be able to do a search. If you know the name of a folder, do a, just a generic search. Yeah. That's exactly what I was afraid of. They brought a brand new machine with a quarter. Yeah, so quarter. these are them, but it's only partial. Okay, so when you say partial, Meaning how many were there used to be a lot. There was like 2007 Hawaii. Okay, what no. folder are we staring at? This is Sharon's pictures. Sharon's pictures, okay. But this is only like. Is this, where's the, the Sharon's pictures? Is it here on the desktop? It's on the desktop, yeah. Can we find it visually? Yeah. Because oh. you got another iCloud Photos picture I here. I know. Oh, that's because I tried to drag it off the, the, the trash. Okay. And again, I didn't want to touch anything until I got here. All right, well, we've. Can you right click and do um, no. um, sort by? You can do ABC order. Mm -hmm. If you right click on the, oh, uh, you don't have the right click enabled like that. If you hold the control button and then right click on the desktop. Here, I'll do it. Oh, there, that. Oh, got it. Now do uh, sort by, um, oh, you click here. No, you, when you do that, click here where the uh, wallpaper is. Hopefully you're going to work better on the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like a big mess. Do you want to try to do it? That same button, the right click. The, uh, the, can you do the control button there for me? There, we're going to do sort by name. There, now ABC order. Where is hey, it called? Peter, yeah. Share it's not yours with an apostrophe S. It's not yours. Oh, you got, oh, so because you got so much stuff on your desktop, you got folders on top well, of it? Well, I didn't them. used to have. Okay, so. And then it brought over folders I don't even remember having. Old so, what you're stuff. saying is the new one's actually messier than the original one? Well, now they look the same, but yeah, it okay. used to not look like this. Well, the reason they look the same is because the cloud, the yeah, iCloud sunk them. Yeah. So now the uh, content's essentially identical. Yeah. So. Do I jump? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Here's my mom. Hi. 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 My mom. Yeah. Hi. This mom. <laughs> She's helping me settle in. All right. So, um, what I'm looking at is that you visually don't have enough room between the two machines to, to populate each icon individually. Okay. So we're, we're, we're when we like, take care of him. Yeah, that's them, good. And okay. Good. Cool. Give me two minutes. No worries. All right. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I money. Awesome. That's a big relief for him. Yeah. Yes. Which well, is he a got a relief for me. He also got a lesson, so he yeah. probably won't need me again for a while. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, one million, million. one million dollars. Okay, hundred bucks. Done. Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta just manually take the number. Okay. I'll I'll look at it. I don't need to rely on my say your number out loud. All right, here we go. Manual entry. See it, I'll ask you for your email. Okay. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah, the air conditioner works. Yeah, that's it's okay. Steady at 69. Really? Yeah. All right. I mean, does it set off, go off at night by itself? I'm going to get a Nest uh, adapter so I can do it from the phone 
anytime I want. Oh, okay. Even from China. Oh, nice. <laughs> when you go to China. There we are. You're all set. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Yours. You got so all your drives. Nice you got yeah, I got three drives. Cool. I got my uh, USB Sweet. dock and I got my... Uh, Thanks. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay, cool. So I have a fairly good bearing of what's going on. Uh, but because your screen is only, say, uh, 4K, you can't visually... I see. I got, you, you've, got, I, you've got icons stacked on each other. Yeah. So... We need to. Do you um, did you manually name in any of your files? I manually named anything before the, like can, they used to be on the cameras. Can you do a search for one? Try to do. A I did. I tried to do pregnant. I tried yeah. to do weeks. Yeah, try. And again, that's the only one thing I know that's missing. Got it. I don't really know if anything else mouse. is missing, and I did try to search it. Maybe so. Don't you have a little portable? <laughs> Wheeling desk or something? Well, that's what that he was here first, so otherwise we would have set up right there. Oh, well, why don't you put her up? Yeah, but we can do that. Yeah, have start have having yeah, let's floor. put the new one okay. over there. Yeah, do I need to shut down? Shut down, first? please. Yes, yeah, put her in a more comfortable yeah. position. <laughs> Move this. Yeah, he was doing a lot of his, his own, own little stuff. I yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, there you go. Put her up here. Take your back. Thank you. Much better. There we go. It's always hard to move. It's all right. You move places. Yeah, I've been at it. My landlord has has been giving me basically free time to get out. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm not charging me for the two weeks I've taken to get out. All right. Now it's plugged in again. There. Started. Now I was trying to pull up the pictures numbers. I'll show you the difference. And then right. I have an issue with my phone after. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's get this thing. Oh, we're gonna plug in to the Ethernet. Got it, okay. Okay, so we're back at this. There, isn't that better up there? Oh my god, so much better. Yeah, this, this stool's a little better than the one you're it's trying to sit on. Better than on my knees, so that's yeah. great. There we go. Here, why don't you step forward for a second? I'm not even going to touch the buttons. There we go. There. That was better. Oh, that's good. Okay, so you wanted me to go to the spotlight? Uh, yeah, and type for uh, the name of a uh, so exact name of a file. So I'm going to do 39 weeks. Got it. Let's see, so that's... Wasn't that a movie? Oh, that just went to the Google. Never mind. <laughs> well, she's looking for her uh, pregnancy pictures. I know that my pregnancy photos were gone from oh. 2008. That's oh, what made no. me think that I was missing more stuff. I was only worried about the pictures coming over from the, the photos, but not on my desktop. I'm sure they're on a backup drive somewhere, but I have no idea where. Okay, what do you think all these folders overlapping are? Do you know what those are? Um, what is it? Yeah. So those are my baby videos. So you got These videos. are downloads from 2011, like from an old phone. Got it. I don't know what unused. Um, oh, that, I know what that is. That's the system taxes, stuff. Taxes, my sister. I didn't see the Sharon's pictures. What's this iCloud photos in this one, too? Oh, these are the ones I, well, I don't know. Right. I don't know. I dragged them out of the trash. We'll open one of them and see what it is. 
So that's my son's band. Got it. But they were in the trash, so I just took them out of the trash and moved right. them back onto Looks my Looks like desktop. you still have stuff in the trash. Well, I started to take off stuff I didn't need today. Right. But this one was on there now, and I don't know what to do with it. Okay. So I did, like, these things, that automatically quick and gets deleted. Okay, each. this can't be more than one or two pictures. It's only 4.2 megs. That's what I'm looking at. The size tells yeah. me a lot. I don't know. I didn't put it there. I think it automatically goes there. Right. But I don't know why. Got it. Okay. Um, so Apple said if, if, if it was more than 30 days. When the last time you saw all your content that you didn't realize you were... Before I migrated. Really? So... Well, I, like I said, I didn't know it was missing till I was looking for something. Right. Can we do a search like that over there? Yeah. Let's do that same search over there. Some uh, number, some math, and decided your hardware isn't enough to support your cloud account okay. because this is a terabyte drive that has a 256 yeah. gig drive. Ultimately, that's your problem. Yeah. So it, rather than because that, if you download too much stuff to that, it won't boot, and that it was, just stops it. Yeah. Yeah. So that might have been why you don't have a partial. Wait, that's a stinker. Do yeah. they even sell terabyte? Well, yeah, they do, but you have to ask for it, and the person selling you the machine needs to be savvy enough to have the sort of conversation we are. They never ask And, that, yeah, they're just so quick to just take your money on an yeah. entry-level machine when they could have very well just sold you up, upsold properly to a higher-end machine. Couldn't I just trade that in for a better machine and pay the difference? Well, you the probably, loss. I don't, you take the loss, I just, Apple's not going to buy it back from you. Oh, they don't have, like, your Well, they do, but they're not, this thing is so new. Oh. They're probably, you're going to get, like, you're going to get more if you sell it on eBay. I see. Than you will if they're just getting the trading value. Because, yeah, they it's will buy, bad, they will, yeah. for so long. Five yeah. years, basically. Well, I've had this one since, yeah. Right. But the thing Nine is, years. technically it's obsolete, even in perfect condition. It can't take the latest OS, which is why you're kind of forced into a new machine after five or six I years. See. They I do see. it deliberately. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Just for them, I guess. Right. <laughs> for us. Well, you're my hero right now, whatever right. this means. <laughs> so I think, yeah, but one, the original drive is failing, and two, it's four times as storage as your new hardware. Yeah. The, whoever your clerk was should have been savvy enough to have an interview with you. Because as soon as you say, I have a collection of photos, they should have thought, oh, I can upsell to a bigger hard drive, but they didn't. Well, yeah, and all, the only reason this all happened was because this number was, nothing was coming over, like there was like 500 photos and there was like 5,000 here. Right. But then on this one now, there's like 7,000 photos. There's right. more than that's on here. Yeah. Which so, makes no sense, and then I lost the photos on my desktop. Yeah, it sounds like you're in the market for a bigger drive on the new machine. But you said I can do like an external? Yeah, you can, but drive. that's going to, it's just more tedious. Yeah, it's like. Stuff. Well, let me talk to Apple when yeah. we fix it and we get to a good point. Right. right. I mean, yeah. if I take a loss, it's worth it, I guess. I mean, do you have a, is your husband, does he not, is he not in the market for another machine? Um, I don't have a husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not married. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, He's married to someone else now. <laughs> got it. Okay, so I didn't know. I know that feeling. <laughs> your son, or anyone else in the family have a need for this? I mean, then you can just move on to a new machine. I'm sure I can give it to my son. All right. He's 13. Okay. Yeah. He has yeah. a, what, a, a Lexar? No, that's not it. No, the Lenovo. Lenovo. Yeah. For all his games. Got it. He's a, likes all his games. So yeah, it sounds like since that's not really that's going to be someone's Christmas present. Yeah. You're saying. <laughs> or sell it on eBay, or do offer up, offer up the easy way to sell things. Okay. Um, just so price. So go to eBay, find out what its fair market value is. And get seventy five percent of its value if it's even old. It's like May six four months, months old, four months. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it, it's a loss. It's a loss. Right. Yeah. What is it? A thousand bucks. Right. What are you gonna do? So that's yeah. They start at a thousand bucks. Yeah. And they go up from there. I don't think it like got anything special, obviously. But yeah. Right. That's the new technology. That's why it looks physically different. So. I mean it's better to look at for yeah. sure. Yeah, well it's got the, set, the faster technology. So this has the one terabyte mechanical hard drive that has the SSD which is faster. Okay. But it's not as much storage. Okay. And I have this conversation all the time. It amazes me that those clerks up on Manhattan Beach don't have a proper conversation well, about Well if you could have asked me about storage, I, I wouldn't have known what to right. say. I know it's on my phone because right. I buy them every That's couple That's the other years. thing. They don't talk about how your iCloud account can clobber your desktop. Yeah, but they, they're not interested, they want the sale, they're not interested well, that's in That's my point, they should have sold her a more expensive machine legitimately. No. Yeah, they did. Well, it's I was like, just worried It's not like they're selling a grandma uh, in over <laughs> a machine that's more than what needs to be yeah, sold. So. A, lot of, a lot of elderly people like me, uh -huh. it's just like, I don't need all that power, just right. fix my old stuff. You know? yeah. yeah, well in this case so. it's not power, it's storage. Yeah, okay. So. So it's good I just didn't get my screen fixed anyways. Right, it's, done. it's obsolete. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five, six years, it's not like a car. If you take a 20 year old car, you still might be worth fixing. Yeah. Computer, even in perfect condition, and that's not gonna run the latest software. Yeah, okay. So what does this mean now that we found it? We're still waiting for it to index, and the reason it's oh. still indexing is because your hard drive is failing. It's gonna take a while, we just have to be really patient. Um, can you type? Time machine there. Yeah, where it says weak type time machine. Give it a second, the icon will show. There. Hit that time machine. Oh. Let's do it again. Do it again. Yeah, click that where it says time machine app. We're going to tell it to do a backup to that drive. And we're, oh, we also have to tell this thing not to fall asleep. So it does a full backup. That's the other thing. If this thing goes to sleep in five minutes, it never has time to do a full backup. Oh, OK. Yeah. So a lot of times, these machines are set to Does it write over my old backup? Well, it, time, that's why they call it time machine. No, it keeps a history. OK. Well, how do you shut off the time? No, I, yeah, I, go, I just go into the, the energy saver settings and manually tell it not to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. By default, it's 15 minutes and then it goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And brilliantly, even if you're doing something like backing up that's gonna take a long time, it still falls asleep in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Unless you, may, okay, this is the actual utility to go through play with. Hit the escape key. Go to the settings icon, this one here. Yeah, there, now hit this back button. <laughs> Your brain goes faster than my fingers. All right. <laughs> and now the time machine.
machine is what we're looking for. There you go, good. Give it a second, the drive. Yeah, this drive is on its last leg. Good, hit select disk and we're gonna point it at that drive. Good, Put that passport for Mac. Good. Oh, oh about, right. yeah, do that. There you go, use disk. Good. Okay, so now, go, so in uh, 110 seconds, it's going to do it. Hit back again. Good. Now go to the energy saver icon, and then drag it over to the right. Give it a oh, second. Sorry. Drag that. Thing. So after 12 minutes, make it say never, and then click OK. There we go. So now it'll do a proper backup. You had this thing set to fall asleep in 12 minutes. Okay. Now, might be why you didn't get a proper backup. Oh, I see. Yeah. It gave me an error. But well, I don't know what the error was. I have to see it happen. But it, it boggles my mind again why these things are allowed to go to sleep in 10 minutes if you're still busy doing a backup. So, so it's backing up now? Yeah, and that could take a few hours. Our progress is going to be this thing here. Click to just hover over that. That'll give us our uh, testament. Should I click on it or just hover? Uh, just hover. It's not giving it to you right now because of, yeah. Actually, click on it. Maybe that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Click on it. Oh, preparing backup. Okay. So this could potentially take several hours. Okay. So I'm thinking at worst we end up sitting here waiting for that to happen. Okay. It might be mean that we let this sit overnight and yeah. then tomorrow we have a result. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you want to just slide over the I table? Will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll, we'll sit for a few minutes and see what we get. I think I think we'll get an error, so it'll be good for you. Well, yeah. Let's see that we don't get the error that I think yeah. we might be getting. Let's. We have to make sure it goes through. Meanwhile, you just have another powered machine over here, or lacking memory to accommodate. So there's really no reason to put this back up on there right now. Correct. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm happy so far. We cool. found them. We Not that it matters, but it's like you'll never get those pictures back again. Right. And I don't even know what else I lost. I just noticed that that was one of them. Right. Well, this neighbor that cut my fence, I was actually looking, there's a whole problem with him, but I was looking for pictures of that, and that's when I noticed the... What, he cut your fence? Yes. Yeah. So her, her yeah. fence is right up against the property line, right? Or your, your, I have an your easement like on well, this little sliver of my land, and he built a new concrete fence, and his guys literally cut into my fence to make his concrete right up against my fence. Oh. And he cut into my fence, literally cut the wood so it would be like perfect on his side, but like he, my wood was falling off on the front. Yeah, I guess. And he's such a jerk, and we've been, we went through a whole lawsuit. And then I found out other stuff. So I was looking for pictures that he did wrong in the lawsuit mm -hmm. from 10 years ago, whatever it was. So then I was looking for pictures of the house, which was in the same folder as these pregnancy photos. And then I noticed those were. Mm -hmm. But I found those on another drive, so on another backup disk. But I couldn't find the pregnancy ones anywhere. Here we go. Hurry up and wait. That's all we can do. Yeah, let's see how long. I, yeah. I want to see. Yeah, yeah you can hang out. Yeah, yeah, just do whatever you need to do. And we'll, I'm afraid it's going to give me that error. All right. Because that's what happened last time. And that's what's like, I'll just go get a new Mac. Right. Not knowing that it wouldn't transfer over. What do I do with my purse? Oh, you're out. You had it. Oh. Your seat. bag. I did something with your bag. It was over here. Oh, okay, I put it inside my Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. that's okay. Yeah. I haven't had lunch yet. Yeah, well, why don't you eat? All right. Yeah, I'll just sit here. <laughs> I already ate. That's a Caesar salad. Yeah. Um, what does it say? Oh, it tells me that my iCloud is full. Yeah, you're not paying for it, so you got to upgrade. How much is that? Looks like a dollar or two a month. 
go through the settings and then click it. I don't know how to do that. Let's go for it. Do it. Okay. Okay, go to the you, why don't you eat first? Yeah. Because I went to send some newer pictures and yeah. it won't let me because it says I hadn't saved in the cloud. It's all right. How much more is at the other office? Just a few things like my refrigerator and. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. today, but I'm wondering if we can turn this um, roof around. Yeah. So the flat part is next to the wall, so you have more access to it. Well, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'll figure that out. No, I'm just saying you could have more access to the shelves then. I don't want to leave a glass expo exposed. Oh. Okay. I drop stuff all the time. Not yet, I haven't had time, I've been busy. Okay. Still waiting for my business cards. Ah. Let's have the new address on them. Oh, you're going to leave them on the door? Sorry. Yep, yep. That's a good idea. Then i got to call Yelp and they want me to call. And rather than allowing me to change it through online, I wouldn't have time to talk to them. Why? Because they want to charge you? Mm-hmm. They're going to want to try to sell me. Yeah. It's a shady company. Yelp is? Yep. Why's that? They sold me a contract of adhesion. It's an illegal contract. Okay, explain that to me. It's a contract that benefits the other party and not the other very well. Mm, okay. So there's no point in doing that. Well, obviously now I know how shady they are. Here is that yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brush is over there. Well, you should warn the dog. Do many people go to Yelp anymore or not? Mm -hmm. Google seems to uh, have been taking a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, well, 
when people do South Bay Tech Guru or South Bay Computer Repair, I pull up easily. The neighbor behind you right here is the neighborhood is awesome. Yep. It's beautiful. You should drop some cards off. Oh, I don't want to spam everyone with my business cards. Hmm. Oops, what'd I do? Does it have an ETA for the backup well, yet? Well, I don't know if it's doing anything. I wonder if it stopped me and went to change this. It probably is, but the nature of it is that the battery, the hard drive is failing. No, no, just, no, just okay. yep. All right. It's a failing drive, so it's going to take a lot longer. Yeah, I just want you to see the error. Mm -hmm. I don't mind leaving it. <coughs> right. What office is downstairs? I was trying to figure that out. What do they do? Most of downstairs is the tax people. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> then you got first-time mommies and me's in the corner. What do, what do they do there? I don't know. I guess it's just uh, your first interactions with your kids. Hmm. I don't know what they do. They're in there all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... And then I noticed the vet, vet at the corner. Mm -hmm. You should make an appointment to get his nails clipped. Yeah. Has Bruce called you for any issues or not nope. with his new machine? No. Nope. He seems to be happy. I'll get it a little bit. Alright, what did I do with my keys? I need to rest. My keys over here? Yes, they yes. are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, your keys on there? Yep, I'll be right back. Oh, did you ever find your extra keys? You yeah. Okay. yeah, I did. Right. You two are so nice to each other. Huh? You two are so nice to each other. Is that unusual? Son's always screaming at me. What's He's that? 13. But I feel like my son's always like, Mom, Mom. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. He said, we went through that. Yeah, for sure. I remember when he was 13, get yeah. this one. And he had this friend I didn't like. I was a single mom. Yeah. And they came, and his friend was just, he'd go in, and I, I came home from work. He was 13 or 14. And his kid, this kid saying to my son, hey, get me something out of the fridge. I'm hungry and all this. And he's ordering my son. And he's just kind of, okay. And I went, what? <laughs> so, and I said, you get out of here. This is your house. You can't have anything unless I tell you. Yeah. And so I'm home. So and then 
I guess one day they had chores, and him and his sister, and uh, I said, you need to take out the trash before you do anything. And he's with this kid waiting outside for him. His name was Ricky, I remember. And it was kind of like a condo. And I'm in the kitchen, and there's a dining room, and there's five set steps down to the living room and then the front door, right? So I'm in the kitchen, and I said, take the trash out. And the kid whispered in his ear. He's heard this many times. Yeah kid whispered in his ear and then he turns around which I never really swore around the kids and he says fuck you <laughs> right well, my son's sassy right now so yeah. we're talking and we're talking about sassy kids well he never did that before yeah. until this bold enough yeah. so I was seeing red so I do not remember my feet touching the ground <laughs> between the kitchen and the front door yeah. And all the other kids standing behind him, including the, the um, instigator, they all backed up. <laughs> and I just grabbed him by the collar and I just said, I brought you into this life and I can take you out. And it was this far, because I didn't know what I was going to do when I got right, there. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Can't say something. Yeah, so, and I just said, so I'm going to let go of your collar and his eyes are going like this. <laughs> and you're going to take the trash out just nod. So he did and mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah. That was the first time he pulled that stunt. That 13, 14. Yeah. So that's normal. He's kind of on the other side of it now, but yeah. It was a rough situation. But you got it and his sister was much worse. Well, girls are, yeah. Oh my. There and then when she finally she got pregnant and found out she was gonna have a girl. She cried. <laughs> and I said, why, why are you unhappy that you're going to have a girl? She goes, because girls are evil. <laughs> I went, you would know, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> That's funny. Somewhat normal. Do you think so? Yeah, because of the drive, the fail drive, the drive failing. Yeah, it doesn't even like, it's like it's moving at yeah, all. Yeah, I just recognize that behavior. It's like a car mechanic can kind of tell you what's going on by driving around the block. Yeah. They do certain things, spend enough time around something, you recognize behaviors just by literally looking at the screen. So even though I can't pull the pictures up where they normally are, they're on here somewhere? Because the part of the machine that's failing is all our lag. Oh. Yeah, if it wasn't a failing drive, it'd be done. Yeah. It's taking a long time. It's like a slipping transmission. So yeah. she'll still be able to get her pictures? Yeah. And then transfer it into yes. the new machine? Yes. Yeah? Or un unfortunately, the original, yeah, she doesn't have room. Oh, okay. The gas tank's a lot smaller on the new machine. Hmm. Can, could she transfer it into her phone? The pictures? Well, well that's not really. Well, just to make sure to keep it. Well, I don't know. I'm, it, no, it's just a question. You just, no, you just need a bigger drive on the okay. desktop. Can you just get like a portable drive yes. and then use it on monitor? Yeah, you can put that stuff on an external drive. You can back up everything. So the time machine is going to take a mirror image of this, yeah. the whole machine. And potentially, if you have a machine with a bigger hard drive, you just do the reversal on the new hardware. Okay. If that machine had a terabyte drive, you could just mirror everything and extract it back to the new hardware. But you oh. have to quarter the storage on the new hardware. Yeah. So. Physically, not so when they tried to sync, it just hid them somewhere. Or? Yeah, well, in this case, your drive is taking forever to show everything it's got just because it's a failing drive. Yeah, it didn't take this long the first time, but then it didn't fail. So, yeah, it is a failing drive, so eventually it won't boot. Oh, I got an error. Yeah, oh. No, not yet. No, I said it, oh. I, it was backing up quickly, but then I got an error. Okay, so if But maybe it fell asleep or something. Right, it could have been that. If it fell asleep in 12 minutes, yeah. it's not going to be able to go back up. Yeah. Don't you have any music in this case? I haven't got the speakers hooked up yet. Hmm. I don't know why you have the music. No, not at all. <laughs> You got lucky with that. Yeah, that other place was falling apart. I bet. Yeah. yeah. We were charged.
charged accordingly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's got a screaming deal. I there. still think you got a deal. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not, uh, probably slightly below the market right here, but. Mm -hmm. That's basically, yeah. That's a USB hard drive cable. Yeah, you get the same one plugged into that one, basically. The blue one? The yeah, blue. oh, that's right. That's what that that's is. That's the one I brought. Yeah. yeah. As long as it still says preparing, it's going to be hurry up and wait. Yes, I do. Is that too heavy for you to take out, or should I just? No, why don't you do it right now? All right. Yeah, I was over there seeing if there's Sepulveda. And I'm like, I 
here. He's like, oh, did I not tell you how we were done? I'm like, no. Um, <laughs> he's probably like, so new, you know. Well, he's got a mind like an engineer. I don't know what the reputation is. It's kind of like they're so focused in yeah. all of this. It's a detail. And it's just kind of like, ah, doctors are the same way. Well, I would have never known. I mean, I could have, this could have died, and I would have never known. I right. had lost everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I had looked, maybe it's good my neighbor cut my fence because that's what started it. Well, it was just my sister just said, you know how scared of rain gets with anything except for computers. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I know. I think he's just overwhelmed. It's tough. Yeah. So, we just come by and. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You just don't want the backup to stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> if it's even started. Before the Geek Squad, yeah, that was one of my first jobs after high school. See, so yeah, I did six months there, did six months at Office Max, and six months at Best Buy uh, at Fry's. Oh. Yeah, that seems to be my. I thought Fry's was pretty knowledgeable back then. Well, but. Eh, but. <laughs> not really. Enough to get by, but yeah. now with technology now, you gotta really know your stuff. Well, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it does everything, but it's not so uh, obvious anymore. It's not that well. It, not actually that much easier to deal with. Yeah, that's normal. It's, it's, very it's doing something? Yeah, but her drive is failing, so it's almost like a car with the transmission so that's failing. So you can see what it's doing? Yeah, because it's taking a lot longer than it should. Well, shouldn't that be a symbol? Yeah. What are you looking at to know? I'm looking at the fact that it hasn't shown that symbol yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, so when he was in high school, or down in the meantime, uh, they were just starting the computer lab there. And then, so he was totally interested in that, so he would go and help them with the computer lab and set it up and everything. And that's just his thing. Was, yeah. Was and then, um, then people in the neighborhood started coming and disrupting us at dinner time and stuff. And I'm like, oh, Chris, can you fix my computer? Because he would read up on it. And, and then I realized these people were getting them for free. And I said, no, no, no. You need to start charging the neighbors. Well, you know, I, I feel weird about that. And I, nope, nope. <laughs> you have a knowledge they don't yeah. have. I mean, it doesn't have to be outrageous, but all of a sudden they start, well, I don't know. Hello, this is Chris. Hi, this is Chris. Hello. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. 
Sure. Yeah, you can bring it to me. Yes. Sure. Yeah, and I'll, bra I'll drag your stuff off of the old machine, put it on the new one, set up the new one as I uh, usually like to set it up, and then we'll go from there. What time do you think you want to head over? Yeah, I'll be here. See you tomorrow morning. Thanks. Uh-huh. Bye. Around 10. Do you have any appointments? Or? Well, just that one in the morning. Um, oh, no, I, I, Why? No, it's only 7th and 8th. Oh, okay. So, um, Alta Vista and uh, Toledo go to 6th? Yeah. Really? Yep. There's a um, burl is what words.
months later. And I told my roommate, I thought this I know the apartment. I sold a few things, saved up money, went to the office. So you know, I'm very good at worry about the job right away. sister and her boyfriend took me to the airport to kill it. And I was all tan, blonde hair blowing in the wind, all just, and my sister walks up to me and she says, you're moving, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I went, I'm so happy. Yeah. My boyfriend said, see, I told you. My phone over there. No, well, mine's right there. Hey, super. There we go. Can we call you? Nope, found it. <laughs> it eventually probably will. Well, she's got a light. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, 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 I don't mean that, that way. I just. Yeah. Don't yeah, I don't think it's practical that you stay here too long because that's eventually going to give us what we want. But you're worried that I'm going to get stuck with that air. I just like to see it start. <laughs> right. To make sure it's, you know, happening. Now that I know that my stuff is not on my new computer, that's worrisome. Well, do you are, if, if your house is here close by, you go close okay, one second. Right
serious you are, blah, blah, blah. I haven't read all of these things in the cafeteria and then the guys would sit over there and then they read this and they all turn and look at me. And I said, what? What's wrong? And I went, you wrote this yourself? I said, yes, but don't tell anybody. Yeah. So this one that I was really proud of wrote, wrote the poem and it was my Most people ended up with any high school sweethearts.
Thanks. Thanks. Sent me the wrong screen. Hi, this is Chris. Hello. Chris Sober. Hello, this is Chris. Well, if you want to come by, I'll talk to you in person. I need to see how it behaves when it gets plugged into a healthy computer. Yeah, we've tried plugging it into other computers, and it just barely, it gets to the very end where it's almost going to do it, and then it doesn't do it at the it's end. It's probably a failing drive, which means I would only be able to refer you to a recovery specialist. Yeah. Not a recovery no, I fix computers, yeah. but if that's the sort of if it's a totally failing drive, then a recovery specialist who only does that is who's going to have to help you. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, I will give that a try. Thanks for your uh, sure for your referral or whatever. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. 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 Uh, I was on the other line and it dropped off. Hi, I uh, I think I was mailed the wrong screen. Um, I'll take a look for you. What's the order number, please? Order number is order number. View order detail. Order number one one two dash mm -hmm. six eight eight. Is it three eights? Yeah, three eights. And then so six eight 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 zero zero one dash two two five. Eight six zero five. Okay, let's take a look. That's an Amazon purchase. I don't understand. It's almost like the notes changed. This is not the one I thought I ordered. So it looks like this was fulfilled by Amazon. It was shipped out by Amazon. Here yeah, you're from um, Redondo. Redondo Beach. Beach. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So it looks like Amazon was the one who handled this order for you. Yep. So what I you contact them or not? No, because you got a big label in the box that says call us first. Oh, okay, I see. So this was actually made by them and um, it was shipped by them specifically right in our warehouse. Right. So you actually have to contact them directly. You have a pen and paper hand, they'll provide you a phone number. Uh, you want me to call Amazon directly? Is that the phone number you're going to give me? Yeah. All right, well, I'll let you give me that number just in case it's different than what I Google here. Hold on a second. Yeah, no problem. Let me know when you're ready. Thanks. Alright, what is it? It's 1-866-1-8-6-6-2-1-6-2-1-6-1-0-7-2. Yep, that's it. Thank you very much. 1-8-6-6-2-1-6-1-0-7-2. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. That's so frustrating. I hate doing that. I know. Okay, I just missed a call. So. Hello? Hi, this is Chris with South Bay Tech. I was on the other line when you just tried to call me. Oh, yeah. Hi, I just have a quick question. Sure. Yeah. Like maybe less than two years. So the screen is cracked. That's not, definitely needs to be replaced. 
Yes. Well, you're talking the screen itself. The part might be somewhere around a hundred bucks. The laptop, the keyboard. I'm not sure. I have to see how it's put together and see if I could even get parts. Um, mm. Labor is probably going to be 150 to 200 dollars. So uh -huh. maybe 300 dollars or so to fix it versus replacing the machine. Oh, so like uh, less than still like three four hundred. Yeah, like it's that. probably yeah. I don't know how you say it's only two years old. Yeah, well, those are the numbers. Well, if it's a, if it's an HP Omen, it's a higher end machine. You probably paid a premium for it in the beginning, right? Right. Right. Yeah, it's like almost like a fourteen hundred. Right. Yeah. So if you want to bring in and talk to me for free and personal, I'll give you the numbers. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes people will just call me unnecessarily multiple times. It's like, <sighs> you're not offering me new information. <laughs> Thank you for contacting Amazon. We're experiencing longer than normal wait yeah, times. We're sorry about this. We will answer your call as soon as possible. Hi, welcome to Amazon customer service. I'm here to help you. First by finding your account, then by asking you a few questions to get the right help. Just so you know, this call may be recorded to provide you with the best support. Let's find your account so I can get you help. I've got your phone number pulled up here. Can I send you a text message to verify? You know what? I gotta ask you. That looks like the proper screen is three times as much money. I don't know if he's gonna want to go that route. Hi, this is Chris. Hello. Chris Sobrito. Hi, this is Chris. Hey, what is the latest I can come and pick up the computer? Oh, uh, six. Thanks. Admin portal. This call is being recorded. If you do not wish to be recorded, please disconnect at this time. Hi, uh, this is Todd. I was, I was just curious to see if the, um, there's any progress on the laptop, um, or if you had a... Um, that number, all right. 213. Hello? 
Hi, this is Chris. Hey, yes. All right, so it looks like Amazon sent me the wrong screen. Oh, for goodness sake, okay. Yeah, so um, I'm going to call them back, but in case, I don't know. It looks like most of these screens are over $100. I think we only paid 60 for yours. Do you, um, if it's like, the, it looks like it might be, I don't understand. I did triple check the numbers. I don't see how it was a mistake I could have made, but it looks like the numbers are different than what are, I mean, you stood there and watched me order it. I don't understand if something on Am Amazon's side changed because it looks like the, the model, the part numbers changed from the order. So I'm totally confused. It seems like someone on Amazon, because this was one of those third party fulfillments. So uh, they sold it through Amazon as a retail outlet. Um, so I'm going to have to call Amazon tomorrow. And uh, if I end up with a proper part number, do you want to go up to like $125 if that's what the turnout to the cost yeah. is? Yeah, it, yeah. If, if it's $100 and you know, like something, dollars, that should be fine. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'll just, yeah, I'll just buy the replacement part. It's frustrating because I'm like, I triple check these numbers specifically so I don't have to deal with this. So someone on Amazon said probably goofed. Okay. So, so, all right. So I'll give. I'll call first thing in uh, late morning, and I'll uh, just let you know what's up. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. All right. That's always frustrating. Yeah. Well, he's a technical person. I just don't know. Sometimes people get frustrated, and I have to be the one they all answer to. Yeah. What should it normally be doing? It should be done. It should give us an ETA and allow us to watch the progress. Oh. So if you have several tens of gigs worth of data, it should take a few hours, maybe at most. But it's a normally failing drive. Like it's the one thing in these machines that does fail all the time. It's a normal failure after five years. So when it fails, it means you can't get anything? Correct. I mean, that's a slow failure. It's like a, a tire with a pinhole leak is the best analogy I've come up with. I see. Uh, but it's also, you can have a tire with a total blowout, and that's when you have to spend thousands to get your data back. Oh, that's the recovery. Yeah, yeah that's a real re that's actual recovery. Because but this is a normal failure. I just know these drives. Yeah. These, these all fail the same way. So what we can really do is wait for that.
contacting Amazon. We are experiencing longer than normal wait times. We're sorry about this. We will answer your call as soon as possible. I can probably shut down that other Hi. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Amazon customer service. I'm here to help you. First, by finding your account, then by asking you a few questions to get the right help. Just so you know, this call may be recorded to provide you with the best support. Yeah, technically, there's Let's no real your phone account here. Yeah. So I can get you help. I've got your password yeah. pulled up here. Can I send you a text message to verify your account? Yes. Okay. I just sent you the text. Oh, oh, here, okay. click the shutdown. Thanks for verifying your account. Now, I'd like to know how I can help you. You can take your time and talk to me, just like you would with a person, and I'll ask questions if I don't get it. So, tell me, why are you calling today? Returns. Now, I'd like to know how I can help you. You can take your time and talk to me, just like you would with a person, Re and I'll ask questions if I don't get it. Returns. Tell me, why are you calling today? I'm returning something. Okay, I'm pulling up your order history now. Can you tell me, in one word, which item you're calling about? The LCD screen. Okay, I'm pulling up your order history now. Can you tell me, in one word, which item you're calling about? The screen? I'm not seeing that item. Can you try rephrasing that? The LCD screen. I'm not seeing that item. Can you try rephrasing that? Lovely. I'm not seeing that item. Can you try rephrasing that? Get me a human. Agent, agent, agent. agent. My name is Chris. I just need to return an order. I was sent the wrong LCD screen. So you sorry to hear that question. I'm sorry to assist you. By the way, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. That's great. So can I have the last one of the other number that you want to return? 
I have it. No, you've been fabulous. Thank you for the excellent service. Thank you so much for that. Have a great evening. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Well, that wasn't quite as painful as I was afraid. No, it was not. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we stand. Do you think we should stop it and try to start again? No, we'll fix it. No. It no. You know, it's, our, it's in our best interest to let this push through as much as possible. Yeah, I know. I'd be a little worried to leave my stuff somewhere. Well, I didn't even know yeah. that it, it wasn't like, coming either. here. You know? Right. I had a suspicion that this thing being too small was part of the issue. I don't even see anything bigger than five, 12 gigabytes. Well, when we go online, well, go to, do you have the Apple Store installed in your uh, phone? I don't. I know. Go install I the store and see what the app. Yeah. The biggest one I saw on this was 512. Really? Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. I mean, that's stupid. It just, it, it, there was nothing bigger you than You checked on the website? Yeah. Went to right. apple.com. Just put the Apple Store in there and browse through. Yeah. this, yeah. Go to the actual apps and put the app store in there. Yeah, go to the app store to install the store <laughs> for the <laughs> hardware. Got it. Just type app store. Uh, yeah, that's it. still buy the older version. There is a little Intel version, which you don't want. Well, there's a refurbished one. Yeah, we're going to do it refurbished. Yeah. That's just buying someone's old computer. Yeah. Well, we, technically, it could be basically new, but I wouldn't recommend. So when I searched iMac, it comes only by refurbished. It's weird. Mini, that's my favorite Apple. I've got one literally stapled or screwed to the side of the other. What is that? Like just a, a start? It's a, oh. it's a whole desktop, and then you have to plug in a regular monitor, keyboard, and mouse. See, see, that's a monitor, but it's actually technically a TV. The Mac Mini? Yeah, you can see it over here. Yeah, I didn't understand it. I that's saw a the desktop. Like, I saw the Mac Studio and the Mac Mini. Oh, yeah, why don't you come around that way? It's easier. I mean, that's only $700. 800 but yeah. Yeah, oh, well, that's true, I'm sure. Oh, I see. Yeah, and that's, you just and that's plug just in like a hard drive? Yeah, well, it's a full desktop, yeah. And then you just plug it into your own computer? Yeah, screen, yeah. It seems silly not to do. All right, I, this, it's, it's uh, cheaper than an that? iMac, yeah. yeah. And I think you can get a terabyte in these. You just have to understand that what it is. You're going to get a monitor and a keyboard and mouse. It's separate than... This only goes up to 512. If you pretend to buy it and see if you can upgrade it to a one terabyte. Oh, I see. Let me just select one. Oh, you can. Yeah, $200. So do you, that, that gets you a terabyte? I see. Well, yeah, then the price goes up. Do you need a 10 gigabyte Ethernet? No. Okay. Because your internet isn't more than, say, one terabyte. Do you need a Final Cut Pro? No, it's you don't need that. Movies, right? Yeah, that's what that is. Movie, movie editing. So it's just a, a CPU unit, basically. Yeah, that's all that is. Yes. And you just get whatever monitor you like? Yes. I'm using a TV. It's not even a real monitor. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Technically, even that's a real TV. On yeah, the wall? That's true. That's a television. Well, you could buy the monitor from yeah. Apple too. Right, but those are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. If you just want something to function, you don't need to get in it. I don't really care. Right. Yeah. Well, can you hook it to this? Like if I kept this computer? Yeah. But then, yeah. So, but for the sake of reliability and uh, not confusing mm -hmm. where your data is, it's yeah. best just to have an internal drive that's at least as big as what you had. I see. Yeah. You don't want to get, s yeah, you don't want to have to be an expert to manage your data. Yeah. 
Mac Mini is one of their under-advertised machines. They don't even think they have them locally at well, the store. Well, I looked at it, and I looked at the studio, and I figured it was like a CPU unit. I just wasn't really sure. And just, right. Just go with what you know. Right. Yeah, so I don't know why the retail clerk didn't just tell you that's what you were in for. Even if they told me, um, you might not I have would have not known what it meant. Right. You know, and, but I could have gone home and checked my computer. Right. And that would have been, you know, six months ago. Right. And it was still working good. Right. But it happens all the time. I just don't understand why their sales clerks don't articulate properly or interview you properly. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just waiting for this. That other phone call was this kid that wants to come get this at 6. Oh, okay. What's the latest I can come get my computer? That was him. Why do I have to move my car by 6, too? Now, actually, after, you're supposed to move it every two hours. Oh. And then till 6, you can actually park there overnight. Oh. After 6, yeah. Should I go move it then? If you want. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah. Safe. I've left it there on accident a few hours. I've only been here a week, and I haven't seen him oh. enforce it yet. All right, I'll go. Just but yeah, if you want to, you can. Okay. Yeah, I've been here just a little. It's about two hours. Okay. Alright, day in the life of a techie. If you've never been here before, give me a call, 855-434-8787. You moved your car already? Yeah, I just moved it a little bit closer. Oh, all right. It really opened up up there. Beast later. Just 
still smell like stroke. Mm. You got sprayed, didn't you? Oh gosh, my That was a few days ago. It's not so bad now, but yeah. It takes so long to get the smell off. Yeah, his face has to shed. She was going to do an insurance claim because the dog came in and got it on her sofa and rug and like she had to throw out all the furniture. Yeah. So she actually had to run through her home insurance to reimburse her for all that damage. Oh boy. Yeah. You're ready to get out of here, aren't you? <laughs> that was a yes. Yeah. Well, I have cookies. You don't think I should try to do this at home? You could try. I just figured we don't have a result right now. So, yeah. worst case scenario is that drive finally fails. If you really want Still, wanna... yeah. I mean. You know, the nature, a lot of the nature of the work is just hurry up and wait. Yeah. For stuff like this. Oh, 
forward. So if I bought the menu, how do you get it off of there, just through the Apple ID? Yeah, you just check, you check that box, and then it brings it all down. Oh, there, finally. See, we should not have had to wait literally three or four minutes for that to populate. But is it backed up? Does it say it's backed up? It doesn't tell us so it's finally backed up. I mean, the cloud, that's just the way that it does it. It's annoying. But can we go to the iCloud? I never used to go to this drive. I just went into my Apple ID and then just went to the, the, the old school iCloud backup. Not that drive, that's new to me. Right. Well, if you put the drive app on your phone, yeah. you'll do that. So go to the Apple Store, you gotta put it on there, you gotta manually put it on there. Just do a uh, drive. Or do, um, so, no, type the word files. Let's install already. Hit the, the open button. There. Okay, so there's your cloud account. This is also this hard drive's content. Um, well, there's a different Apple ID, so. Oh, yeah. this is a different. Okay, cool. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, well, that was on the same ID. That's fine. Is there a technical reason why it's on a different ID? Because my son somehow changed this yeah. several years ago, and I don't know how. Right. And it became his. That's why it's Jack Boom. TNT, it's his, it's his Angry Birds face. I don't know what he did. He changed my Apple ID. Nothing know. ever changed. He just renamed it or something. I don't know. And so nope. I just kept it. You notice how new icons just showed up? Oops. Yeah, you get more icons on the screen because I connected it to the web. Well, maybe that'll help the time yeah. machine? You mean the cloud backup? Yeah. So theoretically, I think if you just slap, sign in your iPod on a big enough hard drive, I looked on there. Oh, on a big enough hard drive. Yeah, this one stopped because it's trying to limit limited. No, but when I just go to iCloud Drive, yeah. through iCloud, the stuff's not on there. Yeah, but still, you're not going to get a proper. Oh, I see. Because it's not necessary. When it says it's backing up pictures, it's only the pictures file or folder. Not I if, see. You, if you keep it in the de in, a, in a separate uh, folder on the desktop, it doesn't get registered as photos. I see. There was another place where I used to go and back up. Click options here. Let me see what our options are. This isn't where I used to back up iCloud. I used to go to this other thing. Up there. Well, they've updated oh, iCloud a lot lately because I iCloud never used to back up the, lap, the desktop, so it only used to be the tablet and the phone. That's right. I had to put the desktop on the cloud. The right. Drive, yeah. So that's only a recent iteration of backing up. Let me see if this is doing anything. No, it still says right. Yeah, I just recognize the behavior to be normal. Yeah. I just think I'd rather take it home. All right, well, then you can just try that. Yeah, just try to back Desk that. Lock, go ahead. Now you know it's not going to go to sleep. Plug it all in, turn it on, let That's it sit overnight. That's probably what I did last time. Let it sit, but it, right. It went to sleep so you didn't get a proper backup. Okay, and if by the morning nothing changes, I'll see yeah. if I can buy that. Yeah. Just bring and, it to you. And see if you or first download it and see if that works. Yeah, see if your stuff shows up on that. And then you should be able, well, you won't just, yeah, plug that into the new machine, on this machine. You should be able to at least visually peruse it. On the mini. On the new computer, on this computer. Well, yeah, that too, but you can also, because you still physically have this, you can plug that drive into this and just see if you can see the content. I'm sorry, so back this up to the, or just log into the Do this the, at home. The take, backup. take your old machine yeah. home, turn it back on, make sure the time machine does its thing, just let it sit there overnight. Okay. When you wake up, if it says, like, it'll literally timestamp when it finished. Okay. And that way, if it says it's completed at 3 a.m., then take that physical drive and you can plug it into any other computer. I see. Yeah. But if that doesn't work, I should probably get the mini. As Ma get the mini. You, you need a machine with a big enough yeah. drive to accommodate you. Okay. So get the biggest, if you can get a ter two terabyte drive, that might make it sense. It did have it, yeah. Was just yeah, because even this, machi this machine, even with the one terabyte, it's 80% full. Right. Well, it's been what? a lot of years. Yeah. But. So you really want to buy more than you really. Okay. Yeah. All right, and I'll see you in a yeah. I'll come back and we'll sure. pick apart the hard drive. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do I owe you for today? Uh, 
How about we just call it an hour and it's a hundred bucks? Okay. Yeah, otherwise I'm, I feel like we have spun our wheels for like an hour or two. So. <laughs> well, yeah. So should I hit skip this back up? Yeah, and then just, just shut, shut it down, down, plug this in when you get home, Okay. and we'll do, do the Start same thing. Over. Yeah. Okay. And I'll see if I can find that. Yeah. I love the Mac Mini. I've got a couple of them. I've got an old one that just never died. It's a 2012. I thought about it. I just didn't know enough about it. Right. Well, I don't know why Apple doesn't advertise it properly. Because it's the one machine most people haven't even heard of. Well, you can take it anywhere. Yeah. Thing, it's know? a desktop, but yeah, you can put it in a purse or a cell show and drag it around. Yeah. Yes. It's not technically a portable machine. Right. But it's portable. So there we are. I just feel like my life is on this computer. Yeah. <laughs> like someone breaks your window, it's like, right. here's Sharon's life. Right. Do you want a check or a Venmo? Or Venmo, a perfect, sure. Venmo, okay. I'll give you my QR code. Oh, actually, where is it? QR, uh, is it over here? Uh, oh, there it is. You know, this. Walking around somewhere. No big deal. Now they've become very um, fluent in terabytes with terabytes. <laughs> well, it's like a gas tank. Just think of it as having storage. Yeah, I think your stuff is one backed up into the cloud and you can't transfer properly because you don't have enough storage. Yeah. It's probably a combination of all of that. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing that's funny is I called Apple support with my photos when these weren't coming through and right. they never said anything. Asked they never bothered to say, to say, I wonder if your hard drive is failing. And then it took like a week for right. the photos to come through, which I thought was very odd. Well, your hard drive is failing. So that sort of latency is normal. five or six years. I, I had such good luck with it. I never right. had a problem until November. Right. Not one problem. And I just thought, I, just, I, was, I was actually just going to fix the screen and keep it. But now right. I know that yeah. that wouldn't, yeah, have, wouldn't have been worth it. It would have been a good idea. Yeah, it was $500 to fix the screen, which I thought was a lot. Mm-hmm. We're waiting on it to shut down. Yeah. What are the chances of you getting everything off the hard drive if you had to take this apart? Pretty good? Probably a little bit better than, well, I mean, pretty much the same as leaving it on. Okay. It's a failing drive. All I would do is make it a USB drive and drag it over. Okay. The only difference is I don't get to see exactly where certain things are. I'm just going to grab the whole profile. I see. So yeah. there's, you think I'm pretty good about saving everything right now? I'm thinking your stuff's in the cloud because you have that box for backing everything up. The cloud. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah, it's just weird when you go on the you go to the iCloud.com and it's not there. Which I mean, but whatever. I know I've said it a million times. You want me to carry some of this? So let's just if do one. If you could follow me with yeah. one of them, right? That would help. Just because I hate leaving stuff in the car. Yeah. As a teenager, my car got broken. I grew up in Pasadena. It got broken into so many times. This is yeah. I just feel so. You know, and as a teenager, it's devastating when you lose whatever. I just had those right. pull-out radios. Oh, yeah. And then as a teenager, you don't pull them out because you forget, and they get right. stolen, and I'm just kind of traumatized by my teenage years. And where is my... Oh, let's be gentle with that. Yeah, those are yeah. Yeah, good. Make sure I have the cord that goes to my monitor. And then we get the monitor, the iMac here, too. I'm going to end up having to buy one of those new iMac power cables because they're so unique. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, Normally I heard you I say just, that to your mom, but I didn't understand what it really meant. Right, this cable is generic. I have literally hundreds of them in here in a oh. box. But the new one is a totally unique cable. And what's unique about it? Well, you see, it's a big brick. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's just. But it's not unique to my no, computer. It's unique to this model, yes. Oh, to the model. I yeah. see. This can also be used in a 20 year old computer. Oh. But the new one is to this exact model. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the difference. I thought it was kind of obnoxious how thick it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's because this thing is so thin, they almost that circuitry doesn't fit in this machine. Thank you. Do you have both charges? Yeah, you have the uh, charger. Got it. Yeah, Hectator, heck. All right. A day in the life of me. All right, we're going to get off of here. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. See you later.